Learn to play golf with Frank and Len. Today we show you how to play a game we know nothing about. Hey, wait a sec. Speak for yourself, mon frere. Six! Uh, don't you mean four, Len? Oh, right. Minus two! <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. What are you doing? Marking down a hole in one. Look! Landed right in his belly button. Say good night, Len. Good night, Len. The house. <gasps> now that's what I call a crash landing! My mountaintop, my tranquility base, my room! Oh, my hat. <laughs> and I was so close to putting it all together and figuring out where I come from. Oh no, I can't believe it. I'm so sorry, Skullboy. How can I ever make it up to you? <sighs> I know. I'll build you a new room. And I'll help. Ah, I'm game! That's great, guys. But where'll I stay in the meantime? Gotta be someplace quiet where I can focus and concentrate. Well, you can stay with me. I have lots of rooms since Edgar and Alan took leave for the annual convention of Weisenheimers. Well, not that I miss them, of course. I'm perfectly fine on my own. Perfectly fine. By myself. Perfectly fine. Drat. Oh, please come. Are you sure, Paul? As sure as I am about anything. A little more. There. I promise I won't get in your way. Okay. Thanks. Splendid! Welcome, my friend, to the den that has an end. Table. Skullboy, I am definitely certain and most certainly definite that you and I... Wow! I'd forgotten what an amazing library you have. Yes, yes, uh, I have many books here. Please be my guest. Okay, thanks, Poe. One of these books could possibly hold the secret of where you come from. Really? The Layabout's Guide to the Universe. Hmm. I once found the secret of success in one of those books. I wrote it down and keep it here in my breast pocket. I shall share it with you now. No, oh dear. Hmm. Ah, the secret of success shall have to wait until I find the secret of reading one's own handwriting. <laughs> there. Now, what shall we do first? Oh, I know. How about a game of Ask the Poe, wherein you ask me a question and I answer. Ready? Go. Any topic. You can even ask your second question first, if you like. Or your first question third and your fifth question first. Oh, no, thanks, Poe. I'm not hungry. Hey, Misery, can you pass me the plans? Uh, sure. Oops. So there I was, in the debate of my life. Are you listening, Skullboy? Hmm. Me on one side, the entire faculty of Cambridge University on the other. And I said, oh, really? And they said, really? Oh, really? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, listen to this. Blah, blah, blah. Chapter 4. A true layabout reads while lying on their back and on their stomach. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Hey, I'm a natural. And then I said, yes. And what do you imagine their reply was, Skullboy? <laughs> Skullboy? Well, exactly. They had none. Game, set, match, Poe. <laughs> Oh, 
Rise and shine, it's preening time. Sorry, Poe, can't preen with you today. <sighs> well, no morning preening? Uh-uh, it goes against who I am. You see, after doing some research in your library, I found out that I might come from a long line of layabouts. Isn't that exciting? Well, I suppose it, um... It's all in here. The Layabout's Guide to the Universe. Mm, super. <laughs> hey, look. Chapter 6. Laying about and looking cool. Well, uh, perhaps I could, um, lay about and look cool, too? Sorry, Poe. Chapter 7 clearly states layabouts do better laying about on their own. Do right, then. Well, happy laying about. <coughs> Preen, two, three, four. Preen. <coughs> Jewel of a morning, Ruby. Sure is, Poe. Care for a mint? N no, thank you. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, how's... Schoolboy working out. Splendid. You should come for a visit and see for yourself. L love to. Jolly good. Uh, say dinner tonight? Uh, well, sure. Oh, top notch. See you then. Oh, and let me know if you need any help with Skullboy's room. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Announcement! Miss Ruby Gloom shall be dining with us tonight. Well, boy, you clean up while I attend to the edibles. Mark my words, I shall make a meal unlike any meal ever made in the history of meals. <laughs> ah, magnifique. Now to check on the cleaning detail. Ruby is expected any minute. What happened to clean up detail? Page one. Do nothing, but do it well. Ah! Oh, she is here! Quick! <laughs> ah, oh, Ruby! So glad you could make it. Something smells great. And look how clean it is. You guys must have been working all day. Enjoy, dear friends. Stew Poguignon. Delicious, Poe. Thank you. Skullboy, can you pass the pepper, please? Sorry, Poe. No can do. It's against the layabout code of conduct. Most I can do for you is just give it a look. Fine. I did not need it anyway. Man, are my feet ever tired. Laying on them all day has really taken a toll. <clears throat> um, Skullboy, your feet. Thank you for noticing. Yes, they are my feet. <laughs> Ruby, can you tell Skullboy that it's not very polite to put his feet on the table? Finished. Finished? But you only had a spoonful. Was there something wrong with the stew? It didn't sit well with me. What? Sit well. Sit. A little bit of layabout humor? Well, I never. Ruby, inform Skullboy that I will be in the kitchen. Gee, I wonder what's eating him. Or what he ate. <laughs> Get it? What he ate? Uh, maybe you should check on your roommate. Make sure he's okay. Poe? Poe's made of hearty stock. <laughs> right away. Yeah, I slaved all day, and this is the thanks I get. The stew Pogon Long tasted great. It's stew Poguignon. And how would you know? You only had one spoonful. Sorry, but I didn't want to tax my digestive system. Chapter 7, paragraph 3 of the Layabout's Guide. Oh, the Layabout Guide? That's all you ever talk about. What about me? What about my needs? I'm sorry, Poe, but I'm a layabout. It's, 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 it's who I am. Oh, I should have listened to Mother. A dessert? Love to. By the way, Skullboy, Iris says you can come by tomorrow. Your room is ready. What? Skullboy! Ah, oh, there it is. I was wondering where the guide went. On the count of three, open your eyes. One, two, three. 
<gasps> Don't you just love it? Uh, where's the bed? Oh, right. I knew I forgot something. Otherwise, what do you think? Well... I don't know if it's really me. You, you! Oh, my goodness, dear boy. This room captures the very essence of you. The wall of strength within your soul. The rope climb of wisdom that swings within your brain. The toothy crocodile of... something. I will miss you, of course, but I believe you will be very, very happy here. Very happy. Hmm. I'm a layabout. I guess I can lay about. Anywhere. Ah, splendid. No need to return to back. I took the trouble. Sad though I am that you are taking leave, we will always have the memories. He's probably weeping inside. I know I am. Iris? Something. The nails. I guess it's too late, huh? Ah, peace and tranquility. <laughs> hey, Paul. Did you miss me? Ah! <laughs> Yo, the agony. <sighs> but you did invite him to live with you during the renovations. And you were excited about having him. Yes, yes, so we could pal around, as it were. Be best buds, so to speak. Do stuff together. So he could keep me company. Listen, Misery took over the redesign from Iris, and she's nearly finished. <laughs> nearly. And everything will be back to normal, including your friendship with Skullboy. In the meantime, just put on a brave face. Ah, sage advice. Thank you, Ruby. Hey, Ruby, can we talk? Sure. But you did agree to live with him during the renovations, and you were excited about it. But that was before I discovered that I may come from a long line of layabouts. And layabouts need their space to... Lay about. Listen, Misery took over the redesign from Iris, and she's nearly finished. <laughs> nearly. And everything will be back to normal, including your friendship with Poe. In the meantime, just put on a brave face. Hmm. Good advice, Ruby. Thanks. Well. Some things bear repeating. <laughs> Put on a brave face. 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 Hello there, roommate. And how was your day? Just fine, roommate. And how was yours? Oh, just fine and dandy. Have a good sleep, roommate. Oh, you too, roommate. Toss her up! Here, Ruby, let me try. <laughs> there, that was easy. <sighs> Next. So, Skullboy, how much do you loathe it? Ta-da! So what do you think? Well, so... Great! Come on, everyone. Let's get Skullboy's bags. Phew. Glad we solved the problem. What do you think, Skullboy? Um, guys, hold it one second. Uh, oh. I can't stay here. Oh. Huh? What? Chapter 8, paragraph 9 about laying about in places where there's no comfy place to lay about. Forget it. Sorry, Misery. I hope you're not disappointed. I'm crushed. Guess this means it's back to pose for you, Skullboy. 
Papa, 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 Skullboy. That'll be a blast. And a half. I, I heard, heard that. that. I heard that. that. Hey, I've seen this scenario play out many times before. Like with my half-cousin twice removed, and her husband, a guy named Husband, who had half a leg once removed. Twice. You guys need counseling. Serious counseling. Really? So... He doesn't listen. He takes me for granted. He takes me for granted. He doesn't listen. Oh, he doesn't really? listen. No. Time out, time no. out. Let's take a breath, yeah. shall we? He takes me for granted. But Ruby, oh. time he out, listen. time out. No. 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 Stop. Stop. No. Um, I don't need to hear any more. I've got it. Really? You have a solution already? Friends can have different likes and dislikes, and that's okay. But sometimes friends need space. And in your case, I believe that space should include a tree, a graveyard, and lots of ground. Um, okay. You guys would probably be better off not living together. That's it! Of course! Aww. Oh, really? <laughs> wow, it seems to be working already. Okay, I'll fix your room. Skullboy, pack your bags. You're going home. No peeking. Okay, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> what? <laughs> Doom? <Yay>! See? Wow! <laughs> hey, you even repaired my telescope. Welcome home, Skullboy. Glad to have you back. Well, it's good to be back. I may not know where I'm from, but I know where I belong. I'll help you unpack. No! Uh-oh. Oops. Well, what are friends for? <laughs> <laughs> Skullboy, shall we flip for the bed? I call heads. Heads? <laughs> but you didn't listen. I called heads. Because you took it for granted I wouldn't call heads. <sighs> call it in the air. Heads! Ruby, he doesn't he listen. Me for granted. He doesn't listen. No, this is really. A day in the life of the Doom Kitty. 
The Doom Kitty is the most feared beast in the animal kingdom. Every evening, she goes in search of her prey. Here, she is preparing to unleash her fury on the poor, unsuspecting victim. She pounces and attacks! Afterwards, licking herself clean of the gore. Oh, look! She has spotted another poor, defenseless creature. Hey, wait a second. That's me. Too late. Goodbye, cruel world! <laughs> Detective Doom Kitty in The Case of the Missing Muffin. Okay, Iris. Sure, I landed face down, but it was only 40 feet up. <laughs> Never felt better. Oh, is that a body part? Hey, oh. Iris lost a tooth. You know what that means? We get to make tooth necklaces. Iris will be getting a visitor tonight. Like from a heinous apparition from another world? Pardon me? No, from the Tooth Fairy. She'll sneak into your room late at night and take your tooth. <gasps> oh, that's terrifying! Wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> the Tooth Fairy always leaves the trinket behind. She's very polite that way. A trinket? Cool. Can I have anything I want? <clears throat> uh, a strange winged creature sneaks into one's room under the cover of darkness to steal one's teeth. And everyone is okay with this? Yep. Sure. Good with me. There's nothing to be worried about, Scaredy. Come on, Iris. Let's put that tooth under your pillow. No, no. My teeth are staying right where they are. They will not fall victim to some tooth monster. Ow! No, my tooth is fine. That's just psycho... Oh, what is it? A psychosomatic where your brain fools you into feeling pain that you really don't. <laughs> Oh, okay, Brain. Come on. Joke's over. I'm serious now. I'm serious. Ow. Oh, no. I want a rocket-powered catapult, a band of praying mantises that live in a shoebox, and, oh, 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 violent shoes! So no one can hear me coming! I don't think the Tooth Fairy takes trinket orders. What's in it for her? She gives all kinds of cool gifts, and all she gets is a bunch of gross old teeth. I'm telling you, she makes tooth necklaces. There's a huge market. Well, in any case, the faster Iris gets to sleep, the faster she'll get a visit from the Tooth Fairy. Right, Iris? <laughs> Night, everyone! Uh, don't you guys have somewhere to go? <laughs> the tooth is gone! Told ya. Oh, the anticipation is killing me. Oh, well, maybe.
maybe that's my malaria acting up again. Aha! Here it is! What is it? Oh, maybe it's a piece of an ancient stalagmite from the underwater caves of Grumston Canyon. I've always wanted to go. Or maybe it's a good luck charm. Or maybe it's an ancient vial of disease that could kill us all. Or just turn our hair into a lovely shade of moss green. Whatever it is, I'm gonna find out. Hey, has anyone seen Scaredy this morning? Oh me, oh my. The end is surely near. Scaredy, what's the matter? Oh, isn't it obvious, Ruby? I am on my last wings. <coughs> I fear I shall not make it till morning. It's already morning. Oh, well then I fear I shall not make it till evening. Fear not, Poe is here. I heard the moaning clear across the yard. Oh. Oh. Judging from the swelling and the pounding, your wisdom tooth will have to come out. Can I have my mouth back? My dear Scary, how am I supposed to understand a word you're saying when you fail to enunciate? I think Scary wants you to let go of his mouth. Yo, beg your pardon. Oh! Ah! Ah! Be good! Is my cape torn? Ow! You know, nothing is coming out. Especially a tooth imbued with my much-needed wisdom. I've had all my wisdom teeth out. It hasn't affected me. Oh, drat. Without my wisdom, I will be forced to exist with a less than average intellect. <gasps> oh, what will it be like to be vacant? Empty, I ask you, with not a speck of smarts to speak of. Morning, Morning gloomsters. gloomsters. Oh, oh my, no more, please stop. Oh, no, I beg of you. Oh, what was that, little no. bat? Scaredy has a sore tooth. Best way to cure a sore tooth is to scare it out. Isn't that for hiccups? You got him too, Ruby? Must be going around. Don't worry, Scaredy. There's bound to be some kind of natural remedy in one of my books. Still got the hiccups? I'm good, thanks. See? Works. Nice one, Len. Finally. My grandmother used to say leeches could cure anything. Those were her last words. Hmm. Scaredy, your tooth will have to come out. But my precious wisdom! No! Just breathe into the bag, little bat. That's for hyperventilating, Frank. Oh. The bag worked. The little dude's really hyperventilating now, huh? Oh, maybe you should try standing on your head. Well, if you think it might help. Hmm, you got me. What's that for? <laughs> Not sure, but you gotta admit, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I've got it. My trinket's a healing crystal from Gloomstown, just outside Gloomsville. Any healing feeling yet? Well, I do not know, you know, because the rash on my neck from the crystal is making it hard to tell. All this thinking has made me hungry. Let's make some sandwiches. Yes, all this thinking has made me hungry, too. I with you. <gasps> oh, dear. Soon I will no longer be thinking, which means I will no longer be hungry. <gasps> oh, my goodness gracious, I better eat a lot. Do you like peanut butter, Scaredy? Oh, well, I am sure I will learn to like it. Ah. Ow! I'll take that as a no. <gasps> oh, what? Wait. Oh, no. My tooth has come out. <gasps> oh, farewell, precious wisdom. You, uh, gonna finish this? No, Frank, stop! You want a bite too, Ruby? Mission accomplished. Now all we have to do is wait for the Tooth Fairy. I would not like that very much. But thank you for asking. Someone lose a tooth. Weirdest thing. I was down in the crypt when a tooth fell on my head. <laughs> what does one have to do to lose a lost tooth around here? I heard somewhere that peanut butter and jelly works. Bite? <laughs> then the hideous creature snuck into the parlor. Talons raised! 
determined to have its fill of juicy victims. Under the circumstances, perhaps we should read something more upbeat. Nah, I'd rather hear what happens next with the hideous creature. There, all systems go. I can't wait to catch the elusive tooth fairy in the act. <sighs> It's only eight o'clock? Feels more like midnight. That's because it is midnight. Scaredy turned back the clock. Scaredy, did you put the clock back so we wouldn't have to go to bed? Well, if I had my wisdom, I would have come up with a better plan, you know? Maybe the Tooth Fairy is lurking in the shadows right now, waiting for the right moment to pounce. Ah! Scaredy, trust me. There's nothing to worry about. See you in the morning. Oh, well, let us hope so, Ruby. <laughs> I will not fall asleep. Oh, no. No. <sighs> How can I be so tired when I am on my fourth cup of coffee? Oh, darn. Decaf. I still have 278 deciduous teeth, 39 fangs, and 423 incisors to collect. Oh, excuse me, but that is a lot of teeth, isn't it? 740 to be exact. I get them mostly from bar fights, hockey games, and old folks' homes. Oh, you're not at all what I was expecting. Yeah, me neither. You think it's easy sneaking into people's rooms late at night to swipe their teeth? <gasps> Sounds utterly fear-inducing. Uh, I'm scared, eh? Yeah, I get that a lot. One of these days, I'm going to get a complex. No, no, no. My name is Scaredy. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um... Millie the overworked, confused, and utterly bored tooth fairy. Oh, well, perhaps I could just call you... Yes! <laughs> Millie? Knock yourself out, kid. Oh, okay. Um, well, you don't seem to like being a tooth fairy, Millie. Am I right? Yeah, it's not like I have a choice. Every one of my family's in the tooth business. So, here I am, stuck. No possibility of retirement for the next 40 centuries. Oh, dear. Well, here. Now you can tell your family, job well done. Eh, don't bother. I'm actually thinking of quitting the whole tooth exchange business. I'm drained. Got nothing left for me to give. Oh, well, I hope it was not something I said. You know, I'm not very wise these days. Of course. If I quit, I can't go home. Yeah. Got nowhere to go. No place to hang my hat. Mm, but you're not wearing a hat. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I get it. Well, oh, please, we have lots of spare beds here. I'll take this one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> but you see, that is my... And if fairy headquarters calls, tell them I'm N.A. Um... Not available. Oh. A tooth fairy who doesn't want to be a tooth fairy? That's quite a pickle. Pickle? Well, the poor thing needs some peace and quiet to calm her frazzled nerves and... <laughs> Maybe we can help her. Millie can stay for as long as she wants. I can't wait to meet her. Oh, you will like her, Ruby. She's about yay big, cute, and a little high strung. I feel like I already know her. Lunchtime. Yum! Thanks, Thank you, Ruby. Ruby. Thanks. Guys, we have a new house guest. 
Her name is Millie. Let's make her feel like one of us. Here you go, Scaredy Bat. This hot water bottle should help with the toothache. <laughs> That's for stomach aches, Frank. I keep trying to tell you my tooth is gone! Gone, I tell you! Where'd it go? I lost it. I heard somewhere that if you lose something, you should look in the last place you left it. No, I already know where I left it. Then it's not lost, and we can help you get rid of it. Whoa! Poor little bat still trying to knock his tooth loose. Guys, look! See? Ah! We gotta find a cure fast, Frank. Now Ruby's losing her teeth, too. Normally, I would say something witty right about now, but... <sighs> Without my wisdom, I have nothing. It's so nice that you can stay with us, Millie. Likewise, I'm sure. I wonder how much flour I should use for my gloomy cookies. Taking into account the number of people in the house, multiplied by their size, divided by the number of people who hate raisins, three and one quarter cups. <gasps> wow, that was amazing, Millie. Yeah, thanks. Too bad there's no such job as flour figure outer. If only I knew what to do with the rest of my life. If only I had my precious wisdom back. If only I hadn't run out of flour. A proper poetry recitation requires great acoustics. Maybe I should stand on a crate by the fireplace. Taking into account the room dimensions, the slope ceilings, the dust, you want your mouth apparatus exactly 23 paces away. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. With my mouth apparatus. One, two, three, four, Five, six, uh, excuse seven, me, but eight, how is this helping Poe's poetry recitation? Not sure, but numbers don't lie. 22, 23. <clears throat> okay, here goes. There once was a crow from Nantucket. Scary bat! A scary bat! That's real short. Two! I think something's off. You're right. Maybe it's the rhythm. Hmm. That's right, Len. To determine the number of beats per bar, divide the time signature by three. For example, in a 6-8 time signature, there's two beats per measure. I think a 9-8 time signature would work best here. That's it! Millie, that is... Here, allow me. And a one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine. Oh, I am never going to figure out what to do with the rest of my life. Oh, I know. Ever since I lost my wisdom, I've resigned myself to a life of eating mosquitoes and sleeping till noon. Don't you do that already? Oh, yes, I suppose. But before, I did it wisely. <gasps> you know, I've noticed you really like numbers. Oh, love everything about them. Counting teeth, charting the types of teeth in inventory, calculating revenue versus trinket expenditures. Numbers never let you down. Well, promise you won't get mad, but I think I've got you a job. What do you mean? Well, Ferry Headquarters called earlier, looking for you, so... <coughs> Hello? Oh, I'm sorry, but Millie's not here. Oh, no. Uh, may I take a message? Oh. oh, yes, sir, Mr. Ferry, sir. I will be sure to pass that along. Um, you know, while I have you on the line, um, may I ask you something? So, I spoke with Ferry Headquarters, and they say there is an opening in the accounting department. An accountant? Are you square, Bat Bat? Uh, yes. <laughs> Perhaps even rectangle. I don't know. <laughs> ah, well, thanks, kid. But the chances of me breaking into the big time are zero to 467,384,509. That's an approximation, of course. Oh, of course. A bona fide tooth counter? Really? Yes, really! Yes! You're all right, kid. I gotta get me a new abacus right away. See you around, scaredy. Oh, goodbye, Millie. Oh, hush! Good luck at Ferry Headquarters. <laughs> What's this? Instantly restores wisdom? It's just what I needed. Oh. oh, delectable. Oh, wait. You cannot get wisdom from a darn candy. Oh, dear. But I would not know this if I did not still have my wisdom. Yes! Oh, yes. I am smart. No doubt. I am smart. Oh. That 
that Tooth Fairy was a bit of a downer, huh? It was still nice having Millie around. I hope she enjoys her new job at Fairy Headquarters. Yeah, counting Iris's teeth. Teeth? I thought you just lost one tooth, Iris. So I pulled another tooth. I wanted to see if the healing crystal works. It doesn't. Yep, things are finally back to normal. Ah! Scaredy, come back! We finally figured out how to get rid of your tooth. You mean I figured it out? Now's not the time for blame, Lynn. Come back! Oh, yeah. Everything's back to normal, all right. How to brighten someone's day. Helpful hint number one. There's no harm in a heartwarming smile. Well, of course. Helpful hint number two. Brighten someone's day by offering a cheery hello. Always do that. Hello! Always find something about a person that you can compliment. Oh, that's me to a T. And whilst night brought the dark and denied any light, oh. the sleep called forth, which I could not fight. So, Misery, what did you think? Better than nine on Valerian root. Do I... thank you? Don't need this anymore. It's like I made that record myself. The Skullboy Show. Oh! With special guest, Doom Kitty. Doom Kitty, I'm sure many viewers out there are wanting to ask you this very important question. Doesn't it drive you crazy when people don't understand what you're trying to say? Doom says... Can you give my chair a push, please? Fascinating. On the afternoon of March 7th, after a long and, by all accounts, restful nap, you coughed up a furball. Was this a sign of your inner turmoil over the recent loss of your favorite rubber ball? Perhaps you have another question which doesn't involve furballs? Okay. Yes. The final question. Doom Kitty, what would you say is the secret to your success? Never stop rocking. Oh, and good friends. Thanks, Doom. Same here. Wise advice. And that's all the time we have for today. Join me next week when my guest is noted Gloomsville wingnut, Cashew Crow. And we're out. That was fun, Skullboy. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya. Now to try a little of Doom's philosophy. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, how do you stop this thing? Uh, hello? Guys? Doom? How does this thing work? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight you will witness a daring feat of spectacular stupefaction. The great Gilbert, a flea of no small renown and star of the Gloomsville Traveling Flea Circus, will jump from trapeze to trapeze for the very first time. Ready? One, two, go! That's it? <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> yes, I know it's not your fault. I'll see what that noise is about. <laughs> oh, no! Uh oh. No! It's all What's wrong? My voice! My voice! I cannot find!
find my voice! I, I, I know where it is, Venus. Dad, Dad! Coming out of your mouth! No, 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 my writing voice. Also, good guess. The deadline for the screenplay writing contest is in two days, and I haven't written a word! It's okay, Venus. I'm sure we can help you find your writing voice. Right, guys? Yeah. Right. Oops. Sorry. At least you still have the paper. Exactly, Misery. Now we just have to inspire Venus to write a great screenplay. Wow. Venus, a real writer. Seems like only yesterday you got your speaking voice. Listen carefully, Venus. This record will teach you to speak perfect English, okay? I won't be long. hi yo, speak away! Learning to speak perfect English with a perfect accent. <laughs> Lesson one. And it was only yesterday you developed your own distinct personality. It, it was this tall and that wide. And, and it walked like this. And it jumped like this! <laughs> <laughs> yep, seems like only yesterday. Yeah, I believe that was this morning. Ah, oh, they sprout so fast. Okay, enough of the embarrassing stories, please. Yes, time to write new ones, right, Venus? And I've got the solution. What? 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 We bring in another voice to help you find your writing voice. I beg your pardon? One of us sits with you while you write. That's, That's a great, great idea, idea, Ruby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! 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 Okay, you guys go first. Oh, yeah. right! <laughs> Wee Killer! First, you better tell us what you have so far. Yeah, lead the way, oh plentiful one. <laughs> Good one, Frank. What'd I say? <clears throat> it's a gushy romance. Starring a girl named Ella, hi, who is the most fabulous girl in the universe. <laughs> who loves to rock. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Guys, guys, guys! <clears throat> the idea, I must tell it to you first, sillies. It's the night of the big prom. And poor Ella, she is locked up like a prisoner in her own home. Forbidden to go by her mean stepsisters, Edgarina and Alan are. Then, poof! It's a very grandmother in the very flesh. Ow. She wants Ella to go to the dance, but not looking like that. So she needed more poof. Ella becomes a beautiful princess. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Godmother. Very Godmother. Oh. Ahem. <clears throat> oh. Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> her luxury coach and driver await her. <laughs> But before she goes, her fairy godmother warns her. Be back by midnight or else. Oh. Okay, let's go. I think I better get my eyes checked. Ah! Ow. Everybody's there. Especially the boy currently known as Prince. And when Ella comes in, he goes goo-goo-eyed. Wow. But, oh, look at the time. Five, two, five, two, five, two. It's almost midnight. But I just got here. <sighs> Very well. You may have a short visit, but make it snappy. Okay. Ella vamoose it, but one of her glass slippers, it does not vamoose. But the prince picks it up. Uh, now what? The next day, without rest or a shower or even a change of clothing. Hey. Oh, well, maybe a little freshening up. Ha! He goes in search of the girl who fits the slipper. Will he find 
find her? I don't know. Where does she find him? Beats me. Was the fairy godmother poof again? Great. Oh, it's so, so romantic. So? What do you think? Be honest, I can take it. Yeah, despite its own little twists and turns and a stellar cast, it's uh, sort of been done. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I see. Interesting. Will you excuse me, please? Of course. <laughs> no! That's it? That's it? That's not it. Please, leave me be. I need to be alone. Hey, Venus, it's okay. Your story just needs a little juicing, that's all. And that's where we come in. Okay, imagine this. Ella's moping around. <clears throat> I mean, mopping around. Oh. When all of a sudden her fairy godmother shows up. Only her fairy godmother turns out to be Oglug of the planet Amoculus. <sighs> yeah, and she can only speak in her native tongue of Amoculus. Sorry, maybe if you clear your throat? Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, much better. And instead of glass slippers, she gives Ella, uh, uh... She gives Ella, um, uh... That's it! Kill her! A pair of cool new Amokulean Wow Wow boots. Clokeek. Okay. Ella puts them on, and yeah! Ah! She bombs around and just barely misses... Uh, uh... The handsome superheroes, Frank Man and Wen Boy! Ah! Who are out on their rounds, keeping the universe safe for all human, vegetable, and mineral kind. What? Time out! Superheroes? Fairy godmother from outer space? Rocket-powered footwear? This is all science fiction! Exactly! But where is the love? The romance? The smoochy smoochy? No offense, guys. I just don't think your story works for me. <sighs> oh, oh, but don't get me wrong. Frankman and Landboy do have a certain uh, something. Stop the presses. I've got the perfect idea for you, Venus. Yes, yes? Picture this. Friday night at the Gloomsville Cabaret. The joint, as it were, is jumping, so to speak, swinging, so on and so forth, to the sounds of the Doom Kitty 5, a minus 3, a plus 1. When, all of a sudden, from the heavens, descends a fellow of impeccable fellowosity. <laughs> Major General Poi. And once he touches down, the story really sets sail. I am a Major General, I have the hat and boots to prove. I rhyme in time and time, I rhyme in order to amuse all uh, yous. Yay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry, but yous? Poetic license? <laughs> Just got it renewed last month. Oh, I love it except for two itsy bitsy things. The singing and the rest of it. I can work with that. Oh no! Time is running out! Time is running out! You might want to step back. Frank and Len here, Venus. We got fresh water for you. With the sugar cube inside. Go away. 
Venus, it is I, Poe, with a bucket of Gloomsville Scrump Delicious Fertilizer. I'm not hungry. Hey, Venus, uh, look who's here, Skullboy. I'm sure he's got lots of great ideas to help you. Hey, Venus, I'd love to help. Really? Sure, what do you have so far? Well, okay, it's a gushy romance about a girl named Ella. Hi. Who loved to rock. Yeah! Her ugly stepsisters lock her in the prison. And who saves her? Her godmother. Excuse me? Her fairy godmother. The one with the bucket on her head. And the cookie accent. What? It's immaculate. Then the Major General sings. I am a Major General. I have the hat and boots. And Ella gets her rocket-powered wow-wow boots. Duty calls for Frankman. And Len Boy. The ship is aflame! My feet are hot! It is a disaster! <laughs> Hanky? <sighs> it's not so bad, Venus. Your story just needs some good old-fashioned grounding. Here's the setup, sweetheart. That's me over there. I go by the welcome mat of Skull Spade. It was Tuesday, and I was in a real pickle. Sure, I'd been down for the count and up to my ears and over a barrel before, but never like this. I needed to find that doll face, and quick. And all I had to go on was this glass slipper. Like, that's easy. I had to find the foot that fit the slipper and the girl that owned the foot before I found that I couldn't live without finding the foot belonging to the girl with the foot that fit the slipper. But first I had to figure out what I just said. Okay, I love your dark and shadowy style, Skullboy, but my story needs light and color. That's what I'm talking about. Too bright! I'm out of here. Gilbert, get ready for the aerial loop in five. Wait! Maybe we can work something out. What do you think? Oh, no! The contest deadline is tomorrow. What am I going to do? What am I going? Venus? Ruby? But, but, where am I? You're now in my version of your story. Huh? Nice hey. Freaky. Cool! It's a little different and goes something like this. It's a beautiful, gloomy day. What a beautiful, gloomy day! And Venus, you feel great about your story. I feel great about my story. You slip a piece of paper in the typewriter. Hold it! Perhaps I should step out of the room for this part. Thanks, Misery. I think I'll just slip this piece of paper in the typewriter. And you start writing. Fade in, interior, jungle day. They lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> no! <laughs> Venus. <laughs> Surprise! I'd just like to announce that I finished my screenplay and it is amazing. And that's my version. You relax, have fun, and write. What do you think? I love it. Okay, Scoot, so I can relax, have fun, and write. Now, how does that start again? It's a beautiful, gloomy day. Way to go, Ruby. You helped Venus find her voice. Yeah, but if it wasn't for you, Iris, she wouldn't even have a voice. Wow. That seedling's really typing up a storm in there. <laughs> yeah, good old Venus, 
always has to do everything fast. <laughs> I wonder where she gets that from. Well, who's in the mood for a bungee jump? Uh, I'm good. Cut! What? No! More emotion, please! <sighs> More emotion and action! Hey, Venus, what's going on? It's so exciting. Skullboy is directing my screenplay, a romantic comedy, Sleeveless in Gloomsville. Oh, my little seedlings really sprouted. Mr. Director, they need to be smoldering with passion. Okay, can you be more, uh, smoldering with passion, Gilbert? <laughs> Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! The aerial hoop loop the loop! You did it! Way to go, Gilbert! <laughs> See? There is a message to my madness after all, yes? Yes! Moving on to the love scene between our two big stars! Now, in this scene, you are smoldering with passion. Feel it! I want you to feel it! Ready! Action! Oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> that boy's got talent. Flying tips with Squig and Iris. <laughs> Tip number one. When flying your Squig, always wear safety goggles. Because you never know what you'll face in the air. <gasps> like a whip. Number two, always point your squig in the right direction. Uh oh, this is the wrong direction! Ah! And finally, tip number three, never but never jump off a moving squig unless you want to have even more fun! You already worked it out with your squig. hi -oh, squig away! The comic stylings of Mr. Boo and... Mr. Butt? Oh, dear. Ah! Oh! <clears throat> uh, hello. I am, uh, Mr. Butt. And this is my partner, Mr. Boo! Ah! Ta-da! Whoa, is this a theater or a graveyard? A graveyard would be funnier. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah? You want to come up here and say that? Ah! Oh, a tomato! Why, thank you for your generosity in sharing your vegetables. But perhaps you should bear in mind that tomatoes bruise easily and should not be tossed with such a bandit. Ooh! Hey, watch it! Ow! Ooh! Ow! Oh, I get it. Perhaps you are suggesting I make tomato sauce, hmm? Cast of this, Weisenheimer! Hey! Oh, ah! Again, you are too kind, but I, I think we have plenty now. Thank you. <laughs> no more, please. Okay, that's enough. Ooh! Please? <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> Almost there. At last! It's complete! Complete, I say! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm fine. Just a bit excited. Eh, hey, Socrates? How's your new amusement park coming along? Yeah, guess you're working on some super new ride, huh? Are you? Huh? Are you? Huh? As a matter of fact... <gasps> wow! Wow! Oh, wow! I'm 
I bet it's really, really exciting, isn't it? Huh? Uh, isn't it? I bet it's so super cool. I can't uh, wait to see it. Oh, go ahead. I'm done. Yes, it is exciting. Take a look. This is a portable control device for my most diabolical laugh-inducing ride ever. I give you... My giant snakes in a can! Do either of you know someone who might like to try it? <gasps> ah! I will! I will! Oh, yes! 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 I will! I will! I will! Uh, unless you want to, Ruby. <laughs> I think I'm good. Excellent! Just take the elevator to the top. By my precise trajectory calculations, that can will gently propel Iris up and into the feather-filled, cylindrical-shaped object. Huh? She's gonna land in that barrel. I'm ready and raring to go! Then, Socrates, if you wouldn't mind... situation. Oh dear, the extreme oscillation of the barrel appears to be generating less than the calculated effect. Let's see how it scores on my laugh response indicator. That's LRI for short. It rates the success of a ride by measuring the laughs it generates. Ugh. Just as I figured. A measly 2.3 out of 10. <sighs> Back to the drawing board. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Crazy ride, Mr. M. Now, if you just increased the speed another few notches and made the upside down part a little longer, <laughs> it would be even better. Uh, right, right. Faster, uh, uh, upside down. Uh, yep. <laughs> I can't wait for your new park's grand opening. Just three more days. Really? That soon? Oh, dear. I seem to have lost track of time. And I have so many raids to finish and test yet. Oh, looks like I'd best postpone the opening. Postpone it? But you can't. Yeah, everyone in Gloomsville's talking about it. Aye, but there's more work to do here than I can handle. Hey, why don't you two team up? Yeah, you build the rides and I'll test them. That's a wonderful idea. Working together, we'll be sure to achieve my goal of building the ultimate amusement park attraction! <laughs> <coughs> so, uh, who would like a nice cup of tea? Wow, that's exciting. Testing amusement park rides sounds like fun. Yep. Iris has already started working with Mr. M. When it comes to amusement park rides, Len and I have been around. And around and around. My fave is the discombobulator. You know, the one that shakes and spins and twirls you till you're discombobulated? Yeah. <laughs> Killer! <laughs> All of this talk of discombobulating has made me lose my appetite. <laughs> Yeah, I, too, consider myself somewhat of an amusement ride connoisseur. Really, Poe? You never told us. As you know, I'm not one to boast. Yes, I've seen my share of wild rides. <clears throat> Back in the days of my youth, of course. Hey, I just thought of something. Wow, that's a good sign. Nope, gone. Come on, Len. If we're going to tackle Mr. M's massive rides, we'll need to get into shape. Right. Into shape for what? As I was saying, it is actually quite extraordinary that I'm alive to tell you about the death-defying rides I have encountered. Oh, really, Poe? Do tell. Well, if you insist. The first ride I ever experienced was when I was three. Or was it two? In any case, just a mere fledgling. Hey, I like what you're doing with the place, Mr. M. Oh, wait till you see his new sign! Mr. Mumble's Madhouse of Merriment. That 
That's right. In my quest to create the ultimate amusement attraction, I'm turning my glass house into the world's biggest fun house! <laughs> <coughs> Iris, uh, care to show Ruby? Mm-hmm. With pleasure. This will be home to a myriad of mirth-making devices. <laughs> Isn't that great, huh? Isn't it, huh? It sure is, guys. Only, aren't fun houses usually pitch black and all spooky inside? Oh, 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 but get this. Tell her, Mr. M. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Room not gloomy enough? Then say, see you later to unsightly light. With the handy dandy darkulator. <laughs> see? Not a thing. Thanks, lass. I'm blushing, I think. Um, guys, which way is out? Oh, I know. Follow me. <laughs> Anyone got a candle? Ah, there's no place like a graveyard to find a little peace and quiet. And also for catching up on one's sleep. Ah! Hi, guys. We're training to get in shape for Mr. M's massive rides. Yeah. Care to join us, Poe? No need. I keep myself ride ready at all times. Oh, please do not let us stop you. The first thing we need to test is my new ride car. It takes you through my madhouse from one laugh-inducing attraction to another. But it does have its own special feature. A rubber bubble bouncer mode. Keep your eye on the bouncing ball. <laughs> Sounds like she's having fun. Hi, it's scoring a healthy 6.4. A total success, I'd say. So, what did you think? Eh, it was okay, I guess. But it just didn't have that thrill factor. Thrill factor? Yeah, I didn't scream once. If you're screaming, you're not laughing. And laughter is the surest sign of a successful ride. As my trusty LRI proves. You can't measure fun, Mr. M. You feel it, right here. Aye, lass, but what could be more fun than a fun house? Uh, I don't know. <gasps> How about a roller coaster? Nothing beats that for thrills and chills. Too bad you couldn't do both. <gasps> That's it! I'll build a roller coaster outside. You finish your fun house in here. Aye, and we'll see which one's the ultimate ride. Great idea, Ruby. Thanks. Oh, yes! This is going to be so much fun. Yes! A little lower. Almost there. Easy. Easier. Easier. <sighs> oh, this ride's really shaping up. Great work, guys. Thanks. So what's left to build after this? The best part. My fun finale. A stomach-churning barrel roll into a hang-on-for-your-life loop-de-loop -loop ending with a mammoth head-spinning corkscrew descent. A thrill a second. Guaranteed. It looks thrilling, all right. Doom wonders if maybe you've gone a little overboard. Overboard? Not for the ultimate amusement ride experience. Come on, we've still got lots to do. That's good, it, lad. Couldn't have done it better myself, eh, Socrates? I really appreciate your coming out to lend a hand with my madhouse. With your grand opening so close and Ruby helping Iris on her ride, it was the least I could do, Mr. M. <laughs> Furthermore, I appear to have a knack for repairing things of a mechanical nature. I might even be descended from a long line of grease monkeys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe too much grease. So, uh, what's that you're working on? Oh. <laughs> this is the Laffertron 3000. 
<laughs> My crowning achievement in mirth-making mechanics. It looks kind of dangerous. Dangerous? It's a finely honed scientific device. Perfectly safe. Whoa! <laughs> from the big opening. Yeah, but we still haven't decided which one's the ultimate ride. My wild, amazing, fantabulous roller coaster, or, you know, his thing. Which is a thing of beauty, I might add. Where are the ride experts when you need them? Again! <laughs> How would you two like to be our amusement ride judges? Really? Cool. Except that, since they count for two votes, any decision could end in a tie. Then we'll need a tiebreaker. Well, what about you, Poe? You said you've seen your share of rides. Uh, so I did. <laughs> but when I said I've seen my share, I meant just that. I've never actually been on one. That's okay, Poe. There's a first time for everything. I suppose such an experience might add to my already vast expertise. Uh, very well. I'll do it. That's fantastic. Let's start with Iris's roller coaster. Ah, now, <laughs> where is my head? This is not fair. I should let someone else have a chance to go first. Uh, anyone? There, all strapped in? Snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> then here we go! Oh, no, yeah! This is gonna be good. Yeah, good! Well, this isn't so bad. According to my LRI, our judges aren't having much fun. Sounds like fun to me. The track! Up ahead! Relax. It's just part of the ride. That isn't part of the ride. We have to do something! And fast! I know! The giant snake's in a can! But I haven't fixed it. It might fling you too far. Details, shmeetails. Come on. Oh, dear. We'll need to make some calculations. No time for that, Mr. M. We're going to fly by the seat of our pants. would prove exhilarating. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! This is quite a ride you've built. But now, we'll see how my madhouse measures up. On your mark, get set, laugh! <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not sure what's so funny, but... <laughs> This looks like fun! It does. <laughs> ah, very good readings here. Uh-oh. Maybe too good. Yo! You guys stand aside and I'll try to fix it from here. Before someone dies of laughter. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Too fun! Oh, oh, I give! I give! <laughs> ah, it's no use. 
Maybe I didn't descend from a long line of grease monkeys. Hey! It stopped! Bravo! It sounds like your madhouse is a big hit, Mr. M. Thanks. Now it's up to the judges. So, did you like it, huh? Did you like it, huh, huh? Yes, lads. What's your decision? I vote for Iris's roller coaster. Cause it rocked and rolled. Yes, 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 yes! I knew it! I knew it! I mean, thank you, Frank. And I vote for the Madhouse of Merriment, cause it made me merry. Yes, 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 yes! <clears throat> thank you, Len. So, the tiebreaker goes to Poe. So, it is up to moi to decide? Well, such a huge responsibility that one should not take on lightly. Let me think. Um, um, then again... Uh... Who won? Please! Yeah, I agree with Frank. <gasps> <laughs> and Len. <gasps> well, excluding the two unfortunate mishaps, both rides were top-notch. Uh, a tie? Then neither of us won? But you built two great rides. <sighs> Not the ultimate one. What's that do? That's a great idea. Sometimes one plus one equals an even better one. Here's what we'll do, guys. Yes! <laughs> yes! I concur. Combining the two rides has created the ideal blend of thrills and merriment. In short, the ultimate ride experience. <laughs> we did it after all. Who says there's no I in team? This one has three of them. You spell team with three I's? Of course, Len. It's Latin. Oh. That's it, girl. Get it. <laughs> Hi, Skullboy. What you doing with Mr. M's Darkulator? Borrowing it? To turn my bedroom into a giant dark room. Hmm. What do you think would happen if that thing went off out here? I don't want to know. <sighs> Uh-oh. Does that answer your question? Yes. Thanks. Behind the scenes with Frank and Len. Good evening. We are Frank and Len. Or rather, they're stunt doubles. When the script calls for a bit of daring do, we get called in to take their place. Observe. Oh, dear. I am afraid. Ow. Let's go again. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm shooting a show here. Sorry, Mr. Director. I'll get back in position for the daring mountain dive scene. Ah! Ow! <laughs> Good one, Lynn. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Let's go again. Cut! Cut! Ow! <laughs> again! Ruby's mailbag. Dear Ruby, what do I do about skeletons in the closet? Signed, worried to the bone. Well worried, there's nothing to be worried about. Right, Doom? After all, everybody has skeletons in their closet. Some of them are my best friends. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? It does sound cool, but I wonder where it's coming from. The closet? It's not like you can fit a whole band in there. Hi, Ruby. The Skeletoons and I are recording a new album. The acoustics are great in here. Why don't you slip on in and listen to us cats lay one down? Thanks for the invite, Skullboy. But I'll just wait for the record. Cool, kitty. Oh, and, uh, uh Doom Kitty? Later. What do you know? You can fit a whole band in there. Like I said, everyone has skeletons in the closet. Some of us more than others.
Thanks for helping out with my songwriting, Doom. You make a great metronome. I think I've got something here. Attention, people! Crew on set in 10 minutes! 10 minutes, please! Catchy tune, by the way. Thanks. You're welcome. Nine and a half minutes, people! Crew on set in nine and a half! Did you hear that? Skullboy liked my music. <laughs> You're right. I think he is making a film. I wish I knew where he was shooting it, though. In the graveyard! Uh, just so you know. I got my wish. Good morning, people! Oh, dear. <laughs> Excuse me, Skullboy. You know, there is no need to amplify your voice. We are in your proximity. Yeah, and we're real close, too. Oh, sorry, guys. It's just, I've called you all here to make a big, big announcement. <laughs> I've decided to make my first full-length feature film. I really like the home movies you shot at Poe's birthday. Indeed. You managed to capture all of my best sides. And that got me thinking that maybe I'm descended from a long line of big-time Hollywood hotshots. <laughs> so, who, might I inquire, have you cast as your dashing lead? Glad you asked, Poe. I'm not only writing and directing this boffo flick, I'm also playing its matinee idol hero. The name's Kid. Skull Kid. But I'm gonna need your help, people, if it's okay with you. Everyone gets their own copy of my soon-to-be-a-blockbuster script. <laughs> I've written your job descriptions on each cover. Music? Me? Well, I really like the piece I heard you play earlier. It'd make great theme music for my film. Really? Wow! I'm a composer. Ahem. You okay, Frank? Want some water? Of course, you'll be backed by our resident guitar maestros, the indispensable Frank and Len. Killer! Right on. Great. Let's get to it. Want that water now, Frank? <sighs> we start shooting tonight, people. First up, the scene where Skull Kid confronts the fierce griffin. Ah, the griffin. A mythical half-lion and half-eagle beastie. You got it, Poe Baby. Iris? Costumes are your department. Half lion, half eagle. Gotcha. Great, great, great. Let's get started. <laughs> Quiet on the set. Lights. Camera. Cue the fierce griffin. And action. <laughs> Cut. Um. Iris, your griffin is kind of more cute than fierce. You think so? Thanks! Hmm. I might have to rethink this part. We're moving on to the big eruption scene, people! Poe, baby, how's that molten lava spewing volcano coming along? Go, oh, uh, wonderfully. Although it still requires a little work. <laughs> it's a bit tiny, isn't it? For some reason, I ran out of flour and newspaper. Gendry? <laughs> Jalen? I can't seem to move. Yahoo! Anyone? Well, keep working on it. I want a big, big. Moving on to the crowd scene, people. Ha <laughs> ha! You wouldn't let me down, kid. Tell me you found enough extras. Well, not quite, but I have a solution. We can create a huge angry mob using smoke and mirrors. Well, just mirrors, actually. <laughs> I am extremely allergic to smoke, you know. Arg! There he is! Woo! Get him! Oh, who am I kidding? That would not even scare me. Couldn't get a monster, couldn't get a volcano, couldn't get a crowd. This film is a disaster. Misery catering service. At your, um, service. <laughs> Oops. Ow. No. Sorry, guys. I can't remember what I played before. And that's my job as a music composer. Oh, I know what you're gonna say, Doom. 
It may be bad for me, but it's worse for Skullboy. It's his movie. I better go tell him. <sighs> hey, Skullboy. How'd the first day of filming go? Terrible. Not one thing went right. Really? Not one thing? Nope. But at least I'll have a great musical score. You're really going to save my film with that catchy tune you wrote. Yeah. How did that go again? <laughs> you kidder. Anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Yeah. Me too. I just wish the rest of the film was going as smoothly. Maybe you just need to scale it back a bit. Do something you know. My drawings! They moved! Look! Hey, that's pretty funny. Thanks! Maybe I actually come from a long line of animators. <gasps> that's it! Instead of filming my Skull Kid adventure, I'll animate it! Whatever I need, I just draw. Of course, I'll still need your great score. Music and animation go together like the toe bones connected to the uh, foot bone. Great. I better get, uh, connected. Good news, Skullboy. I have managed to recruit a swarm of mosquitoes for your crowd scene. No need for crowds, Scaredy. I'm making a cartoon instead. <gasps> oh, a cartoon. Oh, how exciting. I'm calling it The Animated Adventures of Skull Kid. Come on, I'll show you around the cartoon factory. This here's the design department, and this is a model sheet for my cartoon alter ego, Skull Kid. Well, you know, it looks just like you, only much smaller and very much flatter. I plan to avoid using repeat pans in my cartoon. You know, the ones where the characters pass by the same thing over and over again? Yes, that invariably looks cheesy. Here, I'll show you a few scenes I've shot so far. Oops, must have shot those backwards. Really? Well, I found the hero's reaction extremely believable. Oh my! Skull Kid appears to have lost his head. Oh, no, there it is. It now appears I am seeing double. Ah, that is much better. And now, not so much. So, what do you think so far? Oh, I cannot wait until it is finished. In fact, I am going to camp out right now in anticipation of its big premiere. And that, based on what I did today, should be in... <laughs> three years! That's gonna be one long camp out. My live action Skull Kid didn't work. The animated version will take forever to finish. Now what? Wait, what did Ruby say earlier when I wasn't listening? Hmm. Blaggedy blah blah, do something you know. Blah blah, blaggedy blah blah. Hmm? Something I know. That's it. I'll sit my cartoon here in Gloomsville and base it on everyone I know. Best of all, with me and my friends as the characters, the new script will practically write itself. Well, it might need a little nudge. I am very sorry, Mr. Buns. I have no idea when the exciting Skull Kid cartoon will begin, you know. La, la, la. La, la. Ruby! Hi, guys. What you got there? <laughs> oh, a casting call, Ruby. Skullboy requires thespians to voice his animated film about a group of fascinating friends. <laughs> We're going to rehearse together. Want to come, Ruby? Thanks, but I still have Skullboy's movie music to write. Have fun. It seems like Skullboy's really hit on something with this cartoon thing. So, Iris, I'd like you to read for the part of happy-go-lucky Irene. Uh, Irene? Well, I was thinking of reading for glum and morose Mona. I just feel like, like, I know her. That's quite possible. Mona, take one. Wow, it sure looks like rain. Hopefully it's not acid rain. Did I ever tell you what happened to my great, 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 great nana when it rained? Oh, it was really bad. And I just washed my hair too. Ow, figures. So? 
Great. Next. I would like to read for the role of fun-loving, energetic Irene. Not glum, low-energy Mona? No, I don't really get her. Okay. Irene, take one. Come on. Let's go. And do some adventures. Whee! <clears throat> Crash. Um... I'm good. Really great. Next. Today, I shall read for the part of the exceedingly handsome and, and somehow oddly familiar Byron. I have, however, taken my quill to the script, as I felt a character so paramount to the story warranted considerably more screen time. Now, for my first line, I would add at least three more adjectives. Crikey! I feel faint! It's okay, Freddy Bat. There's nothing to be afraid of. I hope... Wow! You sound great, Skullboy. Thanks! I've decided to do all the voices myself. Hey, are those your characters? Sapphire Somber? She sort of looks like me. She's not really you. She's just based on you, like the others. Mona? Freddy Bat? Fred and Ed? You are making a cartoon about us. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to show you. Ow. 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 This next scene features a character I based on Doom. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Chitty Chat Kitty? I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. I think. With my new limited animation approach, I'm just churning the scenes out. So, what do you think? I'm speechless, unlike Chitty Chat Kitty. Things are going so well, I'm premiering my cartoon tonight. Would you mind handing out these invites for me? By the way, when can I get your music to add to my animation? Oh, I'll, uh... Get it to you in time. Speaking of time, I better get going. See ya. And speaking of going, I need to visit the little animator's room. What? New Skull Boy. <sighs> I was hoping to check on the progress of his long-awaited cartoon. Well, I am sure he would not mind if his biggest fan took a peek. Just a little peek. <gasps> what? Excuse me, but this is not a Skull Kid adventure. Is that funny bird there supposed to be Paul? And look, there is Ruby, but what? not really Ruby. How exciting! A cartoon about us! <laughs> oh, wait till everyone hears of this! It's no use. I better tell Skullboy I can't remember the tune. Ah, Ruby. Do you know anything about Skullboy's animated picture? The one in which he plans to mock us unmercifully? Uh, Poe's words, not mine. He showed me some of it, but he's not really making fun of us. Oh, but I fear he is. From what I can tell, Skullboy turned me into an oblivious chatterbox and misery into some sort of disaster magnet. Ow. How could he be so insensitive? Oh, sorry. I never meant to be insensitive. I have to set this right. What I saw of Skullboy's cartoon looked funny to me. But you can see for yourself. He's invited us all to the premiere tonight. See you there. Like Ruby said, the scenes with Byron were most amusing. Oh, as were the cartoon antics of the brothers, Fred and Ed. Fred and Ed do sound pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, especially Ed. I hope Skullboy doesn't take it too hard when I tell him I don't have his movie score. Skullboy, there's something I have to tell you. No need, Ruby. I heard everything. Don't worry about a thing. Really? You're not disappointed? I understand completely. 
but the show must go on. You're a great guy. I mean, that's great, guy. See you tonight. Thanks, everyone, for making it to my cartoon premiere. Uh, I really hope you like me. It? Uh, like it? Respect, Ishness. Understanding, Ivity. Mindful, Ishness. That is, friendship, Ishity. Skullboy, what happened to your funny cartoon, Ishness? I kind of overheard what Poe said about me being insensitive. Y you did? Uh-huh. So, I chucked that cartoon and made a new one that didn't make fun of my friends. <gasps> but we came to see the crazy cartoon antics of Fred and Ed. And Irene, and Mona, and Freddy Bat. Oh, and Sapphire. Well, don't forget Byron. Too bad you chucked it, huh? Well, I didn't literally chuck it. Kid, will stop it. Once I pull myself together. Hey, God, we're doomed. Doomed, I say. We're not doomed, Byron. We just need a doom cake picnic party. Of course, I was that close to implementing the same plan myself. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea I was such a comic genius. I think the real genius around here is a certain animator. Speaking of genius, whatever happened to your catchy tune, Ruby? I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> That's it. Guess it was catchy after all. What are we waiting for? Let's rock! <laughs> What's with the camera, Skullboy? Animation was way too much work, so I've decided to make a live-action documentary instead. Sounds great. What's it about? Life in Gloomsville. I just shot a great scene of Poe getting out of his bird bath. Skullboy! I'm going to get you and your little camera, too! Oh, yeah! Great acting! Give it to me, baby! Yes! Yes! Oh, your anger almost seems real! An animated minute with Skullboy and Scaredy Bot. Hi, everyone. Inspired by this cool book, Animation for Boneheads, I decided to make my own portable cartoon theater. Ah, it looks like Scaredy's volunteered to demonstrate it for us. Oh, oh dear. I have? I drew these poses myself, each one part of a walking action. Now, I just pin them to the hat brim and start the engine. As the brim turns, the drawings kind of melt together, and they create the illusion of movement known as animation. Oh, you are right! My cartoon self appears to be walking! <laughs> and now I am running! <laughs> running like the wind! <laughs> oh. Are you okay, Scaredy? Oh, yes. But I fear that all of this running has left me very tired. Oh. Good night. Is your ship sinking? Did you know that's arsenic you're drinking? Are you buried in ice caps? Did the bridge your uncle collapse? Did that place your in explode? Oh, that's why I was saying. So
wanted dead or alive. Keep reading. Any relative of Skullboy. Great idea to put an ad in the paper, Skullboy. And there's a reward, too. Well, you're bound to find some family. How many replies have you had so far? Uh, less than one. But I'm feeling optimistic. Good, because you never know. Your family could arrive any moment. You're not psychic, are you? Skullboy! Oh, Skullboy! What a joyful reunion! We are your long lost family! Skullboy! It is me, your third cousin, and twice removed! Oh, and this is your cousin! Do I smell muffins? <laughs> Finally, a family I can call my own. Unpack food to feed the horde, share good times and big rewards. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So, you're my family? Yes. Really? We see your face. And no, in heart. I am Skullroy. That's so freaky. I'm Skullboy. What are chances? We must be family. Skullboy. I am Madame Yanakovichka Skalinakovitsky. Well, welcome, Madame Janif Manas... Um, Madame Janif Or Manis you can call me Ma. Ma, great. Nice to meet you. Ma? Really? I can call you that? Yes! Wow. Oh, that's great. Ma? Ma will make cookout dinner tonight, here, for everyone! A cookout? Indoors? I love it! Yeah, it's like we're all one big happy family! Do not mind Zoltan, he is just itchy, ever since infestation. What's wrong? Black cats! In old country, black cats make for very bad, bad luck! Oh! Yes, we prefer black cat not to cross in front of us. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that's a Doom Kitty. Doom Kitties are far from trouble. Right, Doom? <coughs> well, come on, Skullroy. We have a lot to catch up on. I'll show you around. Will be pleasure. Thanks, Skullboy. Can I help you cook, Ma? Rutabaga! I beg your pardon? Rutabaga! Oh, of course. Skullroy, welcome to my room. Thank you, cousin. Please, to make yourself a comfy. <laughs> Yes! Oh. <laughs> um, I love all of these things you have, like, um... Uh... Automatic spine reassembler? Yes! I have one just like it at home. Well, it's on order. And this thing? Oh, you like my latest invention. A hair-cutting hat. You just dial in a style, wear it, and it, uh, uh, how you say, uh, quaffs your hair. I haven't had a chance to try it yet. Do you play music? Oh, me? Music? Are you kidding? Ha! Huh? Huh, I love music! Wow, it's uncanny how much alike we are. Maybe we could play music and then get reward. Ha! Great idea! If we play music, it would be very rewarding. Uh, you mean reward? Uh, uh, yes, very much reward. 
Come on, I'll introduce you to my friends who play music. <gasps> oh. mm. What do you see? Ruby has lots of friends and... Ah! Oh! What? <gasps> Soon Ruby's friend, Skull Boy. Yes, what about Skull Boy? Well, Skull Boy will give big reward to family. Oh. He will? How exciting. Yes, everything. Very positive here in this house. Very good energy. I have a bad feeling. <laughs> but don't you always have a bad feeling, Misery? I know. I'm confused about it, too. Misery, this is Ma, a relative of Skullboy's. You should have her read your tea leaves. It's fun. Give me the good news first. Okay, uh, now let me see. Uh... Ah! Oh! It, oh, it, it goes across and bang! And then, oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm booming! Look! Look out! Crash! With it. Ah! So, what's the bad news? Um, maybe there's something else we could do together. <sighs> as long as it is something, I will get very much reward from... Ah! Yes, to get very much reward. There you are. Ah! I made us another pot of tea. No, no more horror, please. I mean, thank you. You are most kind. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that's our friend Iris flying in. Did you say f flying? How does she fly? On a broomstick? <laughs> Thanks, Squig. See ya. Ah! Oh, hi. E e evil Eye. Evil Eye? Oh, I've heard of that game. It's like chicken. Whoever can stare the longest wins. No, please do not curse me. I beg of you. Our family is big jugglers. I teach you this, then reward. Okay, skull boy, catch! Oh! Wow! <laughs> Please stop! I can't, then I would lose. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Ma, this stew is indigestible. I, I mean, indescribable. Oh, thank you. It's old family recipe. <laughs> so, tell us more about yourself, Ma. Yeah, more about my heritage. Ah, uh, not much to tell. We big family of traveling musicians. We like camping and uh, mm. rutabaga stew. It sounds just like me. <laughs> <gasps> Haven't given up yet. Well, time for the welcome cake. Want to help me, Skull Boy? Ruby, it's so exciting to be with my new family. If they're your family. Misery, what are you saying? They're not your family. What? Are you kidding? I have so much in common with them. Like what? Well, hmm. Um, uh... Like I said, I have a bad feeling. Are you sure that's not Ma's stew? It didn't help. Misery, do you really think that's not Skullboy's family? They may look like him, but I don't exactly see a resemblance. Well, I don't believe it. And I'd like to see you prove it. If you insist. <laughs> Radio 
Nothing. Misery, they're not imposters. This reminds me of what my great-great-grandmother used to say, said when she was sinking in quicksand. Oh, they couldn't really make out what she was saying, but the point is, I won't give up! Ah! Gotcha! <sighs> One more point for me. Ah, uh, yes, good one. Uh, must, must to go now. <laughs> and I must to go too. <laughs> Evening, Ma. Sorry to interrupt, but it's midnight. Which means it's time for midnight snacks. Don't mind us. Okay. If you please do not mind me. What you looking for, Ma? Ah, uh, something very valuable. Well, in that case, we better help you look for it then. No, oh, you couldn't sleep either? Well, let me keep you company. Back when I was a youth. Is okay. I know, is okay. I've got a million stories. Now, as I was saying... You know, we looked everywhere in the kitchen. Still can't find your valuable thing. Yeah, maybe we should look somewhere else for it. Well, okay. Buck up, Moscow. Whatever it is you're looking for, we'll help you find it. You are too kind. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I think that pot needs cleaning. This spying is ridiculous, Misery. I'm telling you, they're family. Well, as my great-great-great-aunt used to say whenever she got blasted out of a volcano... Well, she mostly just screamed. But the point is, try, try, and try again. <sighs> Which leads me to my formative years of learning, which I affably call the blunder years. <laughs> Little joke. Oh, there you are. Don't leave. Have you found it yet? What are you looking for? We're helping Ma look for something worth a lot to her. Oh, well, in that case... Hidey ho then. Let the search begin. Or rather, continue. They're helping you look? Go to figure. <laughs> There you are. I'm still on you. What you doing? We're looking for something really important to Ma and Skullroy. Really? It's really important? Really very important. Well, in that case, we better stop the game. I'll help you look. What does all this mean, Misery? That I have no future in spy work. See? You can't prove they're not my family. But you can't prove they are. What are you going to do? There's only one thing I can do. Uh, isn't this the part where you tell us? Oh, right. I'm going to give them their reward. I'm not following. I'll know if they're my family or not, judging from how they react to it. I'm still not following. Okay. Now I am. Okay, everybody, you can stop doing whatever it is you're doing. Ma, Skullroy, I think it's about time you got your reward. Really, Skullboy? Very much rewarding. Really, Skullroy and Ma, very much rewarding. Here it is. Come here. Where's the reward? This is your reward. Come here. What the hugging? I really, really do not like hugging <laughs> so much. Maybe a little. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh it, it's so like old country. I have not had good hug like this for a long time. Yes, <laughs> not since our pet goat Boris died. I miss him every day. <laughs> Come here. Uh, oh. 
come here. Yeah, great. Uh, thanks. Watch the shirt. This is so great. Come here, Frank. I'm not hugging you, Lenny. Oh, yes. Very nice. Thank you. Ah, oh, what the heck? Come here! <laughs> ah! It's okay. I have more ribs on the other side. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. You both love my reward. That settles it. You must be my family. Ah! Skull boy, we cannot lie to you no more. Do you know how hard it is to be not nice when you're all so... Nicey nice! Huh? It is just not easy to do a job around this house of nicey niceness. Oh, that's too bad, Ma. Anything we can do to help out? Ah! Oh, see what I mean? You tell them, Sergei. Go ahead. You break nice people's hearts. Sergei? Uh, I am sorry, Skullboy. We are not who we say we are. <gasps> I don't believe it. Yeah. How did he grow a beard so fast? That's not fair. I've been trying to grow facial hair for months. We are very ashamed. We saw Ad and wanted reward. Does this mean we should stop looking for that valuable thing you're looking for? Will you ever forgive us? Sure. Everyone makes mistakes from time to time. See what I mean? Nice! How do you do it? Skullboy, is there anything we can do to make it up to you? I know. I'll make another stew! No! no. Uh, oh darn. The fire's out. Let's go into the kitchen and find something else instead. Yeah, meanwhile, we can all play a jig. Will be pleasure. Uh, okay. Very much pleasure. guests is fun, but it sure is good to be back to our own little family. Yeah, I think we're all relieved. I have a bad feeling. Very funny, Misery. Yeah, you were right before, we know. But I have a bad feeling. Again. You did remember to take the ad out of the paper, didn't you? Skullboy, let us in! Where are your kinfolk? The Skullbillies! Oops. I rest my case. June 13th, the day everyone has been waiting for. The girls are sure working overtime. They're pretty excited about the big day ahead. Ow. That's right. Bring it home, boys. Bring it home. The big day has finally arrived. It's new cheese release day. Will Abner eat the cheese this year? We know he's the most finicky mouse in Gloomsville. He sniffs a bit. Not sure if he likes it. Oh, no! He's walking away. Oh. But wait, he's changed his mind. He likes the cheese, he likes it. He really, really likes it. Oh, he likes the cheese, everyone. There you have it, folks. What a momentous occasion. Now say cheese. Cheese. Dating tips with misery and Dr. Love. AKA male doll number nine. Tip number one. Identify the friend you like and give him a token of your affection. <laughs> Tip number two. Share your interests.
Tip number three. When you like your friend, show them. Don't just tell them. I like you, Misery, a whole lot. I like you too, Mail Doll number nine. Isn't he a doll? <laughs> doing laundry. I'm with you, bro, but we gotta get moving or we're gonna be last in line. The saw! No time, Len. We must push on. You hang on, little guy. I'll be back for you. We've done it, Len. We beat the rush. If you please, who should be first to use the machine? Ooh, me, 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 I'll go. I will. We'll do it first. Let's make this as painless as possible. I suggest we play a game of Boulder Shroud Guillotine. Winner goes first. Good one, Ruby. Splendid idea. And if I win, I get to choose who scrubs my soils. Maybe. Hey, Scaredy, come on in the circle. The geometric shapes frighten me. On the count of three, everybody call boulder, shroud, or guillotine. I am curious, how does one... One, two, three. <sighs> Who wins? I say Scaredy for creativity. He became boulder. I agree. Scaredy goes first, followed by Frank and Len, Skullboy. Don't forget moi. <laughs> then Poe. Doom and I will go last. Bye for now. See ya. Bye, Anna. Have fun. <laughs> Hey, don't forget to ring the laundry bell before you finish so the others will know when to come down. For whom does the bell toll? The bell tolls for thee, my friend. The bell tolls for thee. Oh, you know, should not laundry be a group activity? You know, like monster taming or something? What's going on? This cannot be good. Oh no, oh no, oh my god, dear! I do not recall the laundry being so hazardous an activity. Do you, Mr. Buns? Oh, ancient drawings, perhaps from a lost civilization. Fascinating. Mr. Buns, I read in one of Poe's books that drawings on the wall are meant to communicate a message. Oh, oh my! Oh my! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my dear! The, the, the queen is coming to visit me for tea! Any second now! I must tell Ruby! No, you are right, Mr. Buns. I will keep it a secret and surprise her. In the meantime, I must prepare. Oh, this is so exciting. Aren't you excited, Mr. Buns? Well, at least this gives us a chance to sort our clothes properly. Pithy. Verbose. Pithy. Frank, why don't we just use the words cool and uncool instead of pithy and verbose? Because we're pithy, cool. <laughs> Almost forgot. Ready to wash and roll? You bet. <laughs> pithy. Super pithy. Ancient musical notes. Look. Len and Frank on Body of Lion. Squiggly line, leg, queen. Queen, leg, squiggly line, Len and Frank on Body of Lion. 
can mean only one thing, Len. No way! The Queen of Talent Scouts is coming to scout us! Pithy and super pithy! <laughs> no time for practice, Len! We must laundry! I mean... Exactly! In reverse! To the garage! But wait, shouldn't we tell Ruby and the gang? We will, after we sign the record deal. Let's not jinx it. <gasps> My turn! Yes! Wow! I bet these ancient markings hold the key to where I'm from. There! Doesn't he look exactly like me? Check it out! And he looks like some kind of king. Hey, maybe I'm descended from a long line of kings! <gasps> Egyptian kings! But wait, this leg, squiggly line, Leading to a queen can only mean one thing. A descendant of the queen is coming to visit me, bringing with her a royal leg for me to wear. Alas, poor leg bone. I knew him pretty good, Mr. Bunt. Pretty darn good. No time to lose. I must get ready for her arrival. <coughs> No, oh, be foul, the peril. How do I loathe thee? Let me count the ways. Oh, no grand. Laundry. These are the appendages of an artist, not a launderer. Oh. I'm going to the mysterious world of Egypt. Okay, not exactly. But the Queen of Egypt is coming to visit, no doubt, to inform me that a pyramid will be erected in my honor. I must get ready. Ring, ring, ring. Your turn, Ruby and Doom. Poe sure was in a hurry. Something tells me he's not a fan of the soapy science. Does this look like a horse to you? But that's what the artist says it is. A chicken. Really? Looks to me like a teapot. See, here's the handle, and here's the spout. No, huh? Oh, well. Come on. As Len would say, let's wash and roll. <laughs> Amazing. Obviously ancient, yet strikingly familiar. That does look like you. Very royal-like. Hey, maybe you have royal blood in you. <laughs> Your Majesty. I wonder what else the drawings say. Send a flying saucer. So prepare yourself, Mr. Buns. We must tell the others. Oh, what was I thinking? Of course, royalty first. <laughs> song? Wicked! Yeah! <laughs> Frankenland, Frankenland, you know that we 
don't bend, we're Frankenland. So, what do you think? Well, sounds good. But we really came to tell you we are expecting a visitor any minute. So be ready. We know. And we are. We welcome them with open arms. And hope they take us away. To the stars! <laughs> but don't worry. We'll send a postcard. That's, uh... Good to know, Frank. We even wrote a new song for them. <laughs> Want to know the name? Rock Like an Egyptian! <laughs> Is it just me, or was that strange, Doom? I mean, Your Highness. Your Majesty? Your Excellency? <laughs> Come on, let's tell the others. Name a pyramid after me? Oh, you shouldn't have your royal greatness. No, too subtle. Could it be? <laughs> your eminence here. Uh, Ruby, Doom. <laughs> what a surprise. Uh, pleasant, I'm sure. Have you seen Skullboy? Over here. I think I finally found where I come from. Ah, uh, I betcha. That's high in ancient Egyptian. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I betcha. Back at ya. Actually, you would say, ah, uh, I beck, because I'm a guy. How about just ah? Uh, because that's sort of how I'm feeling right about now. And check this out. I'm walking like an Egyptian, and it comes so natural. Ruby, which one is more appropriate when greeting the Queen of Egypt? Are you okay, Ruby? Um, yes. We just wanted to share with you the news that a visitor should be arriving any minute. We know. No. I could really go for a cup of tea right about now. Where are all the teacups and the teapot? Many thank yous, Doom. Scaredy, what's going on? And what have you got on? No, no time, Ruby, if you please. I am expecting any minute my most honored guest. Oh, oh dear. The mummy costume does not fit like I remember, you know. Perhaps owing to my consumption of too many mosquitoes. Thank you kindly. Oh, this again? Hang on, Scaredy. Do. Time is upon us. It's time. It's showtime. Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. It's not a talent scout. It's just a tiny, mysterious, mechanical device with some obscure purpose. Come on, Frank. Let's drown our sorrows in a tub of peanut butter. It came from in front of the house. Do in front of the house, if you please. Hold the peanut butter, Frank. Oh, oh, oh. oh your highness, I welcome you. Ah. Excuse me, please, excuse me. To our humble abode. Ooh, she must be a very small queen. Alien from outer space. What? Huh? Huh? Pardon me. <laughs> Alien from outer space. Crazy, huh? <laughs> of course not. You know, Ruby, no. What do you mean? Come on. Who should be the one to open the package? I'll do it. But what if it is booby-trapped? Hmm. I've got it. Skullboy? A little to the left. Little more. Little more. Perfect. Oh, 
finally! I've been waiting for this forever. Who would have thought out of this world party supplies would be so tardy? Oh, misery, be careful! It may be booby-trapped! It is booby-trapped. Oh, I knew it! Booby-trapped with fun! <laughs> Let's party! Or let's not. Where's the Queen of Talent Scouts? Where is the Queen of Egypt? Where is the, uh, alien from outer space? <laughs> Where are you getting these ideas? Now I understand. You mean these aren't ancient drawings from Egypt? Ancient? I made these last week. They're your costumes. But why the Egyptian theme? I wanted to celebrate the anniversary of my great-great-great-grandmother Cleo's getting bitten by a snake. Right, Doom. And what about the house shaking and the electrical storm? That was just me trying to learn to dance like an Egyptian. Okay, we get the idea. So I guess this means I don't have ancient Egyptian blood in me. Ikuba. What does that mean? Bummer in ancient Egyptian. And I won't have a pyramid named in my honor. And the queen of some foreign place will not come and visit me for tea. <laughs> and you're not gonna be saved by an alien from outer space, Ruby. <laughs> yeah, darn. But you will always be like royalty to us, Doom. <laughs> I mean, your highness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, enough smiling and grinning. Get into your costumes and let's party! Great Hall in ten. Be there or be... there. and Frank, we sing though our minds are blank. We're Len and Frank. Frank and Len, Frank and Len, we're not just any men. We're Frank and Len. And when we rock, when we rock, when we rock, we rock like any Idea. Yeah, pithy misery. Pithy. Wait till you see what I've got planned to celebrate the anniversary of my great, 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 great Uncle Saki slipping on a banana peel. Oh. In the middle of a massive hurricane. <laughs> now let's party! <laughs> Yo-yo tips with Poe. The yo-yo. <clears throat> the yo-yo originated in ancient China during the Qin Qin Chu dynasty, or some such. However, my first encounter with the yo-yo came while on a trek through the wilds of downtown Gloomsville. There it was, alone in its natural habitat, the department store. Careful not to alert it to my presence, I sent a sales clerk on a reconnaissance mission to find me a new rubber ducky. As an aside, you see, my previous rubber ducky had taken another position in a larger bath in another home in Gloomsville. More water, better play. Oh, what a time we had, my rubber ducky and I. We used to do everything together, you know. Take baths, sometimes with the water filled to the top, other times only three quarters full. Oh, oh, I'll miss my rubber ducky. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. No, oh, it is a far, far better thing that he has done. It is a far, far better tub that he has gone to. Sorry. I need a moment alone. As, uh, Poe's trusty assistant, 
I shall demonstrate. The yo-yo. Uh, around the world. <laughs> Questions? Hide and Seek with Doom and Friend. own best friend. <laughs> and I'd think I'd be on the roof. Thanks, guys. You want to hear it again? Uh, maybe another time. How about one of our other songs, like Smoke Meat on the Water, Whole lot of Grub, or Born to Walk? Baby, we were born to walk! Um... Come on, Len. Maybe we should just let her get ready. After all, it's her first time hosting the Gloomsville World's Fair. Good thinking, Frank. My first time hosting. I'm so nervous and excited. It's just, I want everything to be perfect. Knock, knock. Who's there? Norma Lee. Norma Lee who? Norma Lee, I have my key. Morning, Ruby. Hey, Misery. Glad to see you're up. Can you see the gladness in my face? Uh, yeah, all over it. Thanks for making sure I'm awake. It was nothing. See you there. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about failing. Just because you have only one day to make it right, and if you mess it up, you'll probably never get another chance ever. That didn't come out right. See you there. I'm sure it's going to be the best World's Fair ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome, every, uh, one to the, whoa, Gloomsville World's Fair, the best fair in the world. I am your host, Gloomy Rube. Oh, I mean, uh, Ruby Gloom. Prepare to celebrate the past, look into the future, and witness defying feats of, uh, death-defyingness, never seen before anywhere. Um, uh, well, anywhere before. Come on along. Hey, look, the phone of the future. How's that phone portable? Hey, look, a person of the future. I guess that's how. <laughs> okay, next we have Misery with her unique glimpse into the past. Ah! Hello, friends and strangers. Welcome to the Misery family heirloom. Sail. Sail? Ooh, sail! Misery. 
We didn't talk about it being a sale. I know. I figured I might as well save up for my medical bills of the future. Friends! Here you will have the chance to purchase one of the many delightful artifacts of the Misery family past. Here before your very eyes is the key to the city, the lost city of Atlantis. Fascinating. And how did you come by the key, Misery? The key was given to me by my great-great-great-grandmother, who got it from her great-great-great-aunt, who won it in the lost city of Atlantis' Bake Off. Ow. One year for her apple crumble. Apple, apple crumble. crumble! And here we have a piece of that apple crumble. I'll give you 40 bucks for it, Misery. I'll give you 50, 100, 800, 1,000, million, gazillion. Soul. Yes. Uh, Ruby, I know this is a sale and all, but I don't think I can let go of the apple crumble. It's been in my family for so long. Okay, okay, gotcha. You're attached to the crumble. Um, uh, oh, look at the time. Dude, put the pedal to the metal. But what about my apple crumble? Okay, I'll speak louder and try not to mumble. Uh-oh. <laughs> Anticipation is killing me. Ta-da! <laughs> Behold, a flying worm that will perform feats of death-defying amazement. I am so looking forward to this. To demonstrate, Squeak here will climb to the top of the platform and dive into the small pool below. Ooh. Hey, Iris. Thanks so much for getting this together on short notice. Oh, not a problem, Ruby. It's going to be great. Come on, Squeak. You can do it. Come on, boy. Ugh, piece of cake. There. This is going to be good. I can't watch. Well, that's a long way down. Yeah, and if he misses, splat. <gasps> Splotch? Drum roll, please. On the count of three, Squeak will dive into the small pool of water. One, two, three! Three! Uh, three! Twa, zwei, tatu, nisto, twi! I don't think he's gonna jump, Ruby. Maybe he's just calculating the angles and wind velocity. Uh, maybe you should check out the next exhibit and come back later. Right. Good idea, Iris. You sure everything's all right, Ruby? Uh, of course. Temporary setback. Moving on, everybody. Ruby, I think we could be rushing this. I, I haven't really tested the machine. Scout Boy, I have a good feeling about the Candytronic 6000. Good feeling. The Candytronic 6000 is the future of candy enjoyment. It will unwrap a candy and pop it in your mouth without you ever getting your hands sticky. Ooh. I have here a candy. I will place the candy in the Candytronic 6000, like so. And now I will pull the start switch and await the candy delight. Uh... This is strange. Uh, oh! oh boy! The fair is a disaster. I've let everybody down. You guys, Gloomsville, the world. Hey, don't worry about it, Ruby. Yeah, no big deal. Thanks, guys. 
But I feel terrible because there's nothing I can do about it. I am sure after a good night's rest, we will all look back on it and laugh. I'm laughing about it right now. Uh, you don't look like you're laughing. Inside. If you were my pancreas, you'd know what I was talking about. Well, let's sleep on it. Maybe it won't feel so bad in the morning? Wow, that was weird. Exactly the way she woke me up yesterday. I wonder what she meant by see me soon. I love the song, but you didn't have to wake me up with it like you did yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Don't you remember? <laughs> of course. <laughs> no. You, Lynn? Absolutely uh, not. And, and then you, Lynn, asked if I wanted to hear it again. And I said no. And then you asked me if I wanted to hear any of your other songs, like Smoke Meat on the Water. Back me up here, Doom. <laughs> Doom? Uh, and and I said no. And then you, Frank, said... Come on, Len. Maybe we should just let her get ready. After all, it's her first time hosting. Exactly. But it's not my first time hosting because the World's Fair was yesterday and I hosted and it turned into a complete disaster. Remember? Nerves. Yeah. We better give her a little, uh, loan time. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. See you later, Ruby. This is very freaky, Doom. Everything that happened yesterday is happening the exact same way today. Don't believe me? Next, we'll hear a knock at the door, and it'll be Misery with a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. See? I told you so. Who's there? Norma Lee. Norma Lee who? Norma Lee, I have my key. Morning, Ruby. Hi, Misery. Glad you're up. Can you see the gladness in my face? Misery, I knew you were going to say that. Because everything that happened this morning happened the exact same way yesterday morning. Maybe it's just nerves. After all, it's your first time hosting the fair. But the World's Fair was yesterday. Don't you remember? It was a complete disaster and all because of me. Ruby, I would have definitely remembered because I'm the queen of remembering disasters. Remember? I'm also the queen of disasters, by the way. And the princess. And the baroness. See you there. And the countess. And the viscountess. The empress! Am I going crazy? into the future and witness defying feats of, uh, uh, death-defyingness never seen anywhere before. Ooh. Come along. Hey, look, the phone of the future. How is that phone portable? Hey, look, a person of the future. Ah! Uh, Ruby? I know this is a sale and all, but I don't think I can let go of the apple crumble. <gasps> oh no! It's happening again! <laughs> Drum roll, please! I don't think he's gonna jump, Ruby. We didn't really have time to practice. Ruby? I think we could be rushing this. I haven't really tested the machine. Snowboy! The fair 
there was a disaster, and it was all my fault. Again. Hey, don't worry about it, Ruby. No. Big deal. How, How did, did she know? know? I'm sure after a good night's rest... We will all look back on it and laugh. <gasps> That's what I was going to say. Or maybe it won't be a big deal. And I won't need to worry. Although I'm not sure if we'll laugh at it. But if we get a good night's sleep... <gasps> hey, but if we get a good night's sleep, I, we can start all over. That's it. Gotta go. See you later. I mean earlier. You sure you're okay, Ruby? Fine. Gotta sleep. Bye. Good night's rest? I'm laughing about it right now. Uh... She's laughing inside. If you were Misery's pancreas, you'd know what she's talking about. Bye! How about that World's Fair? I'm awake, Iris. What? <gasps> See ya at the fair. Guys, save the song for later. See you down at the fair. Normally, I have the key. See you at the fair. Knock, knock. Uh, Ruby? Uh, uh, uh. I know exactly what you're going to say. You do? Announcement! Announcement! The Misery Family Heirloom Sale has been changed to the Misery Family Heirloom Exhibit. But, but, but... And after the fair, I will bake a pan of apple crumble especially for Frank and Len. Yes! Drum roll, please! I don't think he's gonna jump, Ruby. Three, two, one, go! Ruby, what, may I ask, did you whisper to Iris? I told her I realized that Squig needs Iris on his back to do flying stunts. How clever! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Oh, yes! Ruby, I think we could be rushing this. You're right, Skullboy, which is why... Oh, darn, I forgot what I was going to say. Hold on, everybody. I have to go take a nap. I'll be back in a flash. Huh? A nap? Now? Naps are useful in order to minimize the impact of trauma. That's what I've heard anyway. <laughs> Now I remember what I was going to say. Remember? From when? From before I went for a nap. You went for a nap? Yeah, when I forgot what I was going to say. I don't get it. Here, Skullboy, test the machine on this. That's not a candy. But it is wrapped. Go on, give it a try. I will place the, uh, wrapped thingy in the Candytronic 6000, like so. And now I will pull the start switch and await the candy delight. Oh no! Get ready to... Applaud. It worked. Your machine is a success. Yes, as a confetti maker. Thank you, Ruby. Hey, don't thank me. <laughs> thank the time warp I'm in. Ah, that was the best World's Fair ever! Yeah, way better than it turned out yesterday. Are you sure you're feeling okay, Ruby? Absolutely. Although, I guess I'll feel a lot better if I don't wake up tomorrow and it's still yesterday. to bed. Wake me up when it's yesterday. Today is tomorrow, everybody. Today is tomorrow. I don't get it. 
paint by mustard with Skull Boy. I can see it's going well. The creative juices, they're... they're just not... juicing. Maybe you need a break. Something to eat. Primo suggestion! <sighs> That's it! Voila! My masterpiece! Skullboy, you are a true condimentistic genius. Mwah! <laughs> Secret Shutterbug. It's all about the prank. <laughs> Saturday mornings just wouldn't be the same without Mr. Bun's walnut flapjacks. I switched the walnuts and the flapjacks with Scaredy's mosquitoes. Hi. <laughs> What'd you do that for? I was just coming in for breakfast. Oh. Oops. Hey, maybe the guitar's not plugged in. Ruby asked me to invite you to tea. Four o'clock sharp! Here, let me... Ah. Oops. Pink's not my color. But it would have been Frank and Lens. Stop ruining my pranks! <laughs> salt, sugar, salt, sugar. <laughs> Ah, <gasps> nothing like a nice hot cup of tea. Ah! Hi. Don't you have somewhere to be? Not really. Oops. I wonder what this Ruby and her friends will be like. Cannot be any worse than the last trip Stepmother sent us on. Hmm. The candy house was delicious. But that old woman certainly was cranky. Yeah. Ah! Help! Uta, be strong. The twins should be here any minute. Hey, Skullboy. What's that for? It's my latest invention, the sausage oscillator. It's a well-known fact that Germans like their sausages. <laughs> And I'll be here to help pump their stomachs. Let the fun begin! Whee! I'm okay. <gasps> They're here. Hello? Anyone? Hi. Whee! Uh, guys? Hello. <coughs> Excuse me? Uh, pardon me. Hello. Oh. Introductions are always a bit awkward, huh? <laughs> Well, welcome. What fun vacation activity would you like to do first? I usually don't have fun until after my sauerkraut. We bring our own. <laughs> Two plates and forks coming up. Hello. Hey, guys. Hello. Hello there. Let's pull out all the stops and give Gunter and Uta the vacation of their lives. Who's with me? I am. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Beats leprosy camp. Strange folk. They seem to be plotting something, yeah? Is us? Mm. Is, us? <laughs> Is that sauerkraut? <laughs> Far too sour for my liking. Yeah. Look at the menacing look on that bed's face. <sighs> These are imported mosquitoes. 
Would you like one? Ah! A bit! And mosquitoes! Help! 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 Ow, ow, stop it, Brasa! It is an acquired taste. How about some German sausage? Uh... <laughs> I'll get you a smaller size portion next time. My dear Skullboy, if you had studied the regions of Germany like I, you would realize that Bratwurst is indigenous to Thuringia, and the twins are clearly from Bavaria. Uh, Skullboy, nice thing to be caught. <gasps> oh, no. They are fed up with that talkative crow and mean to turn him into Bratwurst. Yes, well, his incorrect knowledge of our homeland was getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Poe. I'll have this cave fixed in no time. Hey, maybe I'm related to a famous tailor. Darned if I better get darning. Ruby, we have no musical talent left. Yeah, we can't write one killer song. Don't worry, guys. Inspiration will eventually hit. Really? I'm dead serious. You'll be punching out a hit in no time. Killer! Even their music is violent. Yeah. Okay, enough of this chit-chat. Let's hit the court and play some croquet. I can't wait to beat you. More hitting? Beating? You gotta play the croquet ball. Dunk, I fix Paul's cape and discover I hail from a long line of German tailors. I will measure you now. Is he making fun of us? I will make new lederhosen and dirndls for Oktoberfest. Yeah, he mocks who we are. Dinner time! Oh, dinner! Twins sure have a strange idea of fun. But who am I to judge? That was divine, Ruby. Thanks. And now for the piece de resistance. I made this gingerbread house to say, welcome to the family. Gingerbread! <sighs> My. Sorry, Poe. It's for later. I'll just put this in the Great Hall for safekeeping. Drat. Oh, that trail of crumbs does make me nervous. But, mm. She tempts us with feet. Do not do it, Uta. Uta! Thank you, Gunther. That was close. We are okay. We are okay. We are... Boo! Ah! This doesn't work in Frank. Maybe that's because we're brushing our teeth. <coughs> hey, maybe we should take a shower. Wow. How will that help us write a new song? Um, maybe it would drown out our writer's block. <laughs> that's a good one, Len. You crack me up. I wasn't joking. Every time I get out, there's you are. Every time I get out, there's you are. Every time I get out, there's you are. I just want to get out here and ride the car. Oh, yeah. That is your bed of nails? Yes, but I don't mind giving it up for one night. I sometimes sleep standing up to keep the pressure off my shingles. I can just stand here beside you. Um, we cannot take your bed of nails. No, no, I insist. <laughs> but wait, I have matching pillows, too. It's like having a deep tissue neck massage. <laughs> Calm down. We mean you no harm. How you doing? <laughs> One, two! We thought the hot shower would help with the writer's block. And? 
Couldn't hear myself think over Frank's constant singing. Hey, what was that song? Beats me. I can only seem to remember it when I'm soaking wet. Hey, you guys look tired. You can sleep in my bed. Trust me, it's dead comfy. Seems a very thin fellow was measuring us for a coffin. Yeah, he built it in record time. We must make our escape from this house of horrors. But the trolley doesn't come until tomorrow. Perhaps we are being hasty. We can never be too hasty. If you don't believe me, come. I will show you. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. They are outside right now, cheering at our misfortune. The twins aren't exactly the barrel of laughs I was expecting. Well, they sure seem to like their sausages. Yeah, but they've spent the last three hours alone in a dark room. How much fun can that be? Actually, a lot. But it is odd behavior for a visitor. Uta, I have been gathering evidence since we came. Look at these pictures and tell me, is it safe? Evil bird! So he was trying to eat us. Only someone truly sinister could ruin a lovely game of croquet. That redhead was trying to lead us into the oven. Ha! Like we'd fall for that again. We must get out of here, Gunther. We will make our escape under the cover of night. Or we may never see our beloved homeland again. <laughs> oh, Gunther! But I am set to clog in this year's Oktoberfest! <laughs> We have made it, Uta. Freedom is ours at last. Ah! It's a black cat! Here to curse us! Ah! <laughs> it's that ghost! Don't look at it! Ah! Hi, guys! Want to play my favorite midnight game with me? Do we have a choice? That's the spirit! Hang on, Gunther. It could not possibly get any worse. Here, sit yourself down inside this cast iron tube thingy while I light the big candle. It appears we are inside some sort of cannon. I stand corrected. It has gotten worse. Now the best way to land is on your feet. Okay, have fun! This strange, exceedingly perky girl has much fun at our expense. Everything we have suffered. It is either us or them. Whoa! Oh. I pick us. What should we do? I need a moment to think. We must outsmart our enemies until the next trolley comes. <sighs> they seem to like to eat. Great thinking, Uta. Did you guys enjoy the ride? Harrowing. Terrifying. Fantastic! Now it's time for hot chocolate with extra marshmallows. I did not truly really believe they meant us harm until now. Yeah. Too much sugar is not good. Thank you, Skull Boy. The embroidery makes me look at least ten pounds lighter. Another satisfied customer. I think they're ready, Conta. <laughs> They do smell ready, Uta. Hot cross buns? Excellent. Yum! Oh. Yum! So much for my new slimmer physique. <laughs> oh, well, luckily, my new cape will hide it. Where are they going? Follow those buns. I think we're having a crypt picnic. My favorite. Please, everyone, dig in. Oh. <laughs> Gunter, Uda, aren't you going to join us? Nein, we're off to catch the trolley. Good luck getting out of this one. <laughs> That's odd. They seem to have locked us in the crypt. And made off with the key? 
Aren't those twins a riot? Not only have they learned how to have fun, now they've set up this game of Escape the Crypt. Yeah, what a riot. Hmm. If I can make Poe ten pounds lighter, I can certainly get us out of this crypt. And what is that supposed to mean? Oh, you smell that baking, Frank? Yeah, it's coming from the crypt. Maybe it'll help us with writer's block. Never worked before, but <laughs> what a way to fail. Don't come in, guys. We're trying to get out. Huh? Must be an emergency. Click that emergency switch, Len. Every time I get up, there you are. Every time I turn around, there you are. Every time I sit down, there you are. I couldn't live without you, my guitar! Yeah! That was beautiful, Frank. Now, enough singing. Every time we're around water, you break into song, and it's driving me nuts. Sorry, Len. You're right. Enough with the singing. Let's go and try to write that song. Guys, maybe water is the key to solving your writers. Got it! We just escaped the crypt. I'm going to play another round. The prisoners have escaped. Hurry, Gunther. We must leave before they try to... Do not say it, Uta. Then I'll just mime. The villagers have turned on us. Uta, this way. Love! <laughs> Hurry, Uta. We can use that bicycle to make our escape. Hurry, Gunther. I'm pedaling as fast as I can. Gunther, Uda, we brought fireworks. We like to make sure our special guests go out with a bang. <gasps> Don't call you guys. Now my tribute to Bavaria Quilt will be done in record time. The bicycle goes nowhere. It is the final blow. Please, don't hurt us. Yeah, I bruise like a peach. Ah! Watch out for that! Bookshelf. Gunther? Uda? I wonder where they went. They're going to miss the fireworks. <laughs> oh no! The angry mob is employing dynamite to blast their way in! Ooh, fireworks! You know you should be honored. Ruby only blasts those out for special guests. Frank, I finally know what's making you sing. It's the fireworks. Please don't hurt us. Stay away. Oh, you're scared of little old me? <laughs> no, no, I could not hurt a fly. <laughs> oh, no. You see, that was merely an accident. Gunter, your camera. I am so sorry. The redhead has destroyed the photographic evidence. Very crafty. Yeah, she is good, Nine. <coughs> Aw, I guess it's time for you two to catch your <coughs> trolley. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't forget to write. <laughs> My cloak! Leave it! Leave it! Uda, you forgot your clog! Uh, don't worry, I've got a good arm! Uh. Oops. Sorry! Come on back, guys. You can have some hot chocolate while they fix the trolley. <laughs> ah! Ah! Guys? Just run! <laughs> run! <laughs> this 
this is gonna be good. Uh, guys, maybe this isn't such a good idea. But, Ruby, the kaboom of the fireworks helps unwriters block us. I don't think it's the fireworks, Len. From what I've seen, water is your source of inspiration. Nope, that's ridiculous. Here at Cooking with Ruby, we know that the right ingredients can make a gingerbread house feel like a home. Well, perhaps I bought too much. <laughs> Not for this project. Let's get cooking. Great job, Scaredy. Thanks, Ruby. Great job, Scary. Thanks, Ruby. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I think I did. I think I did. <laughs> what is it, Scaredy? <laughs> <laughs> that is so strange. <gasps> oh, Ruby, I just had the strangest dream. <sighs> Me too, Scaredy. We have got to stop eating gingerbread before bedtime. You are what you eat. The human mind! Who knows what secrets it holds? Today, I, Dr. Skullin' Boy, will find out with... The Pumpernickel Test! Oh, man, I didn't know there was going to be a test. It's not that kind of test, Len. Frank is right, Len. It is a test made from bread I have here. A simple sandwich which can tell us things about ourselves that we might never know. Like where I put my first aid kit? No, Misery. Like why it is you lost the first aid kit in the first place. Oh, okay then. Misery! What do you see in this strange shape? Ooh, this is easy. That's... Ah! A pile of ashes. Frank, Len, how about you? Oh, wow. I know what that reminds me of. One of those, you know, sandwich thingies. Peanut butter and egg. No, Len, that's not it. That's just gross. Yes, well... Um, Miss Ruby, what do you make of this innocent luncheon leftover? Well, actually, Skullboy, I see, um... Ja? They seem to be... hearts? Hearts? Uh, artichoke hearts. Yum! Anyone else hungry? No. Nope. Nope. Well, yes. Okay. There you have it. Uh... Artichoke hearts. Oh. Good day. Well, this is all so, so nice. <laughs> yes, very nice indeed. Yeah. Very, very nice. It's nice. It's so nice. I'm going crazy! 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 Did I scream that out loud? Well, I know I could use some excitement. Yeah! Me too. Yes! Did someone, I'll say, did someone mention the word excitement? Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Gilbert and his fabulous flying flea! Well, we're working on...
on the ending. We'll be ready in time for the big show. You can count on that. Are you putting on a show, Skullboy? I have come to realize that I must be related to the great showman, P.T. Cranium. The famous circus master. Exactly. So I decided to put on the Gloomsville Pet Circus and Talent Extravaganza. A pet circus? What a great idea. Whoa, excellent. Lynn, we better start training our pet. Yeah. Oh, Squig will be over the moon. And I mean that. I'll have the dust bunnies ready to go. Uh, I hope. They've been a little surly of late. Wow, Doom. This will be a great challenge. Yeah, I'm sure we're up to it. Right? Oh. Good idea, Doom. You rest up and I'll go figure out the act. Good luck with your pet, Poe. Yes, right. <laughs> My pet. No, oh, dear. Now, I know what you're thinking, Squig. Is this trick too simple for my talents? Well, that's why you're gonna do it blindfolded! Oh, my goodness, what a pet trick that will be. And Squig is so obliging. Not bad for an extremely large worm. Hmm. Excuse me, have you ever considered life as a pet? Ah! I'll take that as a no. Now then, pay attention, everybody. I'm sure we're all familiar with the Siege of Thermopylae, right? <laughs> you will be the savage Spartans defending their homeland. Think you can handle that? <laughs> well, how about that? I guess you can. Now let's see if we can do Hannibal crossing the Alps. Oh, those dust bunnies are amazing! And there are so many of them. Misery surely won't miss just one. Go. Oh. Now, where were we, you clever, cute little... <laughs> Achoo! <laughs> this could be a problem. Gilbert? Guys, where are you? See, Doom? A nice sardine. All you have to do is rehearse. <laughs> Not hungry, huh? Hey, I've got a fun idea. Look, fetch. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I'll get it. <laughs> oh, hi, Poe. Doom Kitty and I are doing some, um, training. Ah, looks like things are coming along well for the big <laughs> show. You bet. How's your pet doing? I have something of a, a delicate nature to tell you, Ruby. Yeah, um, well, you see, uh, your Doom Kitty there is a truly a wonderful pet, and, uh, why, you and she, yes, uh, friends till the end, and, uh, um... Poe... Are you trying to tell me you don't have a pet? You've never had a pet? And you would really like to have a pet now? Um, yes? Wow. I can't believe you never had a pet, Poe. You would make a great pet partner. Ah, yes, undoubtedly. But alas, it was not to be. Why, I remember life as a young bird. There was no room for a pet, really. Please, sir, may I have a pet? No! Well, that, um, certainly must have been awful. Well, <laughs> perhaps it wasn't quite as bad as all that. Yes, it certainly must be wonderful to have a pet like Doom. Someone to love, to take care of, to fetch things for me. Or rather, to fetch things for. Look, Poe, I'm sure we can find you a pet just as clever as Doom. Do you really think so? Of course. Hey, since you like Doom so much, why don't you get a cat too? Why, that's a stellar idea, Ruby. Yeah, but not a little cat, no, no, no. Um, a cat that uh, befits my abilities. Yes, a big cat. Ah, yes, it's it, a great big cat. I say, I say, Gilbert, son, where are you? Who would have thought it would be so hard to find the right pet, Lynn? Yeah, I forgot we didn't have one. Okay, 
Let's look at the basics. What is a pet? Okay, um, a pet is something that you love and take a big interest in, I guess. That's it, Len. You're a genius. I am? No, not technically. But listen, music! Uh, I don't hear anything. You stopped strumming. No, Len. Rock music is what we love and are interested in. That's our pet. Okay, but we can't teach our music to sit up or roll over, Frank. No, Len. Not rock music. A rock! A pet rock! <laughs> yep, this is the one, all right. What shall we call him? How about Fluffy? Wow, that is so weird. That was my first idea, too. But now, I'm thinking Rocco might be better. I like it. Simple and to the point. Hey, Poe, what do you think of our new pet? No time to talk now, fellows. I have to go and get my new pet. Oh, man, don't tell me Rocco has fleas. Oh, we, we better give him a flea bath. Gilbert! Where are you? Ah, at last, my new dearest pet cat has arrived. Caution, big cat. Well, of course it's a big cat. That's what I ordered, didn't I? Can't really make this part out. Tigris Gargantuas. Hmm, must be his name. Now, where are you? Gosh, <laughs> sure is dark in there, isn't it? Tigris? Oh, my, you certainly are a big one, aren't you? What on earth do you have in your mouth? Piano keys? <laughs> no, can't be. They're too sharp for that. Where well, they must be. <laughs> T. <laughs> In hindsight, uh, I'd have to say that the bird cat relationship thing was doomed from the start. Have you seen my monocle? I think it's on top of your head, Poe. Ah, yes. Um, I often leave it there to uh, remind myself to. Um... So, what next? Well,. How about something, you know, smaller than you? Yes! Excellent idea, Ruby. How about Abner? He's pretty small. Yes, Abner! Oh, but he'll have to do a pretty huge trick to offset his diminutive stature, you know. Why, I have an idea. Now for our own trick, Doom. How about jumping? Jump, Doom! Jump! <laughs> Uh, I don't think the bath helped much. Well, he looks a lot better. Yeah, it sure is great having a pet, huh? Kind of makes you feel good. <laughs> well, inside anyway. Look out! Huh? huh? Look out! Okay, okay then. then. Squeak! Squeak! Are you okay? Oh, oh, thank goodness you're all right. Are you guys okay? I think so. Frank, where did Rocco go? Rocco? Oh my gosh, we dropped him! Yeah! Rocco! 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 Uh, we'll just leave you guys alone. Hey, Squig, wait up! Now, Abner, a souffle is not a terribly difficult dish to prepare, but it is very, very impressive to see. Watch closely. First, we take some butter. Maybe making a cheese souffle was the wrong trick, Poe. I'll never find a pet now, never! In a million, billion years will I not find a pet. Now, Poe, don't exaggerate. Never! There's still plenty of time. <sighs> oh, why do these things only happen to me? Rocco! Rocco! Achoo! Who's a good word? Here, Gilbert! Achoo! Oh, please, little dust bunnies. Give it one more try. For me. <laughs> I know it must be difficult with me sneezing all the time and you weighing, well, nothing, really. But it's really... How's it going, guys? Squig's working so hard, I have to get him some water. I can't control my sneezing long enough to rehearse. Well, you could try covering your nose with something, like a surgical mask. That's a fantastic idea. <laughs> Sorry. See ya. I know I have a surgical mask here somewhere. Aha! 
Okay, guys, we're good to go. Uh, guys? He's got to be in here somewhere, Len. Is this him? Uh, don't think so. Well, I think he's still pretty good. Maybe better than Rocco, even. <laughs> there will never be another Rocco, Len. Oh, yes, there will. And I will call him the Mighty Feldspar. Hey, look. It's Rocco. Hey, boy. Where you been? Ugh. Bad Rocco. Bad. Well, I say out with the old and in with the new. The Mighty Feldspar should be our new pet. No way, Len. We stick with Rocco. There must be some way we can decide this. There is. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh. No luck, huh? It would seem that no single creature on the face of the Earth wants to be my pet. Is that exaggerating again? Yes, it is, Poe. There's no sign of Gilbert anywhere. Looks like I'll have to cancel the show. What? No! They were the main act. No, oh, he's right there, Ruby. You can't have a show without a headliner. Tough luck there, skull boy. But what about the show must go on? A highly overrated sentiment, that. I don't know. Maybe she's right, Poe. Sure I'm right. After all, what would P.T. Cranium do? Become an astronaut? No, he would let the show go on. And since I'm related to him, that's, I say, that's just what I'm going to do. <laughs> Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to be amazed at all the wonderful pets, each with their own amazing feet. Frank, Rocco doesn't have feet. Quiet, Len. Maybe nobody will notice. Here's our first team, Ruby and Doom Kitty. Doom, this is where you juggle. <laughs> wow! Ah, look at them out there, having so much fun. I can't believe this. Where could those fleas have fled? Well, at least you had some pets to lose. Please welcome Frank and Len and the incredible Rocco! Hello, Gloomsville! Oh, will this night never end? I, I... I can't believe this. Where could they be? Never mind, Skullboy. You can finish the show without Gilbert. Wait till we get out there and... <laughs> Jim! <laughs> Come back, bunnies! Oh, great! On top of everything else, I get chicken pox! Oh, Gilbert, where are you? We're on! Ladies and gentlemen! As you can see, the flea circus is at the moment... Oh, unfortunately, flea-less. <laughs> oh, I regret to inform you that... This itching is driving me crazy! <laughs> Gilbert, you're back! <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let me down! <laughs> oh, if only I had a pet like that. A quiet animal that's always right there at hand, ready to go, that sits there beside you, perhaps in a tall chair, silently waiting. I believe the term is Eureka! Ladies and gentlemen, a new last-minute entry in the contest! Poe and his new pet, Mr. Buns! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I must avow, partner to esteemed buns right now. What sayest thou with little brow? Can you take a bow? You wow. And so I must, for myself, a bow. Allow. Thank you. The 
family, I mean the judges, have made their decision about who's to get whacked. <laughs> I mean, who won the competition? No disrespect intended, but the fleas missed the triple loop and therefore lose marks for technicality. <laughs> Plus, we couldn't really even see them. <laughs> now, Ruby did a superb job juggling, but technically, Doom was the one registered as the pet and not Ruby, so they must be disqualified here. Finally, Poe and Mr. Buns, on account of the fact that they didn't mess up and that that poem made me, well, <laughs> Emotional. They win. They won. I mean, we won. We won, Mr. Buns. We won. And what did you think was the highlight of the show? Mm, I thought Mr. Buns was fabulous. I'd just like to thank you for giving me the opportunity of working with Mr. Buns. Well, I think... No, please, don't say it. Didn't anyone notice me? You? Of course, Poe. You and Mr. Buns go together like pancakes and syrup, wieners and beans. Apple and crumble? Sure. Apple and crumble. Thanks. I feel much better now, Ruby. <clears throat> Albeit a bit peckish. Anyone for some apple crumble? Well, uh, since you ask, I could be persuaded. Brainwashed. You know, I find that I come up with my best inventions when I'm getting ready for bed. Who knows? Maybe tonight I'll come up with my best one yet. <sighs> Head buffing is so boring. I wish I could do it faster. better. Man, if I've used this once, I've used it a thousand times. Much faster. Okay, this is too big. Wow, that's really clean. Funny, usually I have my best ideas at night. Ah, oh, well, tomorrow's another day. Hair, Les, the musical. Somewhere. Hey, Frank, can I come too? Where are you going? We, we gotta, gotta get, get there, there soon. Where, Where are you going? going? I gotta go before the monsoon. Oh, that misery. Go in here. Go in there. Got to get to my Claire. That's Poe for ya. Go in here. Go in there. Oh, and the travel makes me beware. Good old Scaredy. He sure knows who he is. If you know who you are, you'll figure out your rising star. If you know where you've been, you'll go to places with a grin. Where you're going, where you're going, is goodbyes getting drawn. Going once, going twice, going, going, going. Where am I going? I'm not knowing where have I been. Good question. Nothing feels right. I can't even find my light. Who am I? So blue am I? Who am I? With no clue am I? Am I a Smith or a Jones? I don't feel it in my bones. Only it were clear, it'd be easier to cheer. Oh, who am I? Misconstrued am I? All askew am I? Poo-pooed am I? I feel 
like a dog that's gone astray. Someone please tell me my DNA. Oh, who am I? In a stew am I? Worn through am I? Really unglued am I? Where you going? I'm not going. Where you going? I'm not knowing. 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 Who am I? Wearing shoes am I? Hey, skull boy. What you doing? All alone, looking down. Uh, don't worry about me, Ruby. I'll be fine. I'm just completely bummed. I don't know where I came from, so I can't figure out where I'm going, or who I am, or how I fit in. Bummer. Don't worry, Skullboy. You just have to Whoa. look on the bright side. Thanks. But right now, the bright side is more of a just barely enough light side. OK, then. Look on the just barely enough Light side, that's the right side to see. Hmm, I don't get it. And if you don't get it, forget it, don't sweat it. But the thing is, Ruby, I... Or fret it, there's never enough cause to worry. Really? You just gotta remember you can open lots of doors, even closed ones don't ignore. Uh, Ruby, Ruby! When you're tripping in the glade, time to make some lemon. Each day. Hey! That's right! Then shout out a big hey! Skull boy, what else can I say? Things shouldn't feel like work when they're play. To the fullest, live your life every day. <laughs> I think I've just run out of cliches. That's okay, Ruby. I think I get it now. So, in conclusion, in case there is confusion, in this little day. See, Skullboy, it's all about having fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> Thanks, Ruby. But that still doesn't answer the question of who I am. Oh, right. Hey, I know. We'll ask the others to help you out, too. We're bound to find some answers. Come on. Uh, okay. Hey, Scary. <laughs> oh, hello, Ruby and Skullboy. What are you two up to? We're just helping Skullboy figure out who he is. Yeah. Got any advice? Hmm. Well, I often ponder that very question myself, you know. You wonder who I am, too? Oh, no, no, no. I wonder what I am all about, you see. But you know, I try not to worry about it. Really? Take it easy is my philosophy. Ah! You see, you thought that scare would bother me? So you like being afraid? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> are, you, are you crazy? My heart is racing. I am perspiring heavily. You know, oh, the fuzz on my little neck is standing at attention. But you know, I say, why fight it? Yeah, let me explain. A kite, a tea, a piece of string. I'm afraid of everything. I don't even like to sing. I'm afraid of everything. This bed, this mirror, this knickknack shelf. Ah, where did you guys come from? I'm even scared of myself. I tooth, my cape, my claw, my arm, wing. See, I'm afraid of everything. Thing. Now you try. A girl who can do the split scares me out of my wits. A friendly goat, his name is Billy. Oh, sorry, but that guy scares me silly. Summer, winter, fall, or spring, I'm afraid of everything. I love to swing here in the shade. Oh, oh but even that makes me afraid. Oh, well, no biggie, you know. Oh, dearie, dearie, I do feary, feary, but I do not shed a teary. I'm even cheery, cheery, cause I'm used to being leery. 
So there's no need to query the theory of my fury. Oh, dearie, 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 dearie me. So that is the message that I bring. Oh, I am afraid of everything. Well, Scaredy seems to know who he is, but I'm not sure how it relates to me. Yeah. Catchy tune, though. Hey, I know who's full of advice. Uh... Well, dear boy, life is an ocean of possibilities. If things don't go well, you just go with the flow, so to speak. With the flow? Well, yes. It's all about how you chart your course, if you will. And knowing how to weather a storm, as it were. And uh, knowing the ropes. <laughs> oh, why don't I elaborate? Oh, I am the captain of a very big ship. I'll take you on a very long ocean trip. With me at the helm, this very big ship won't tip. Oh, I am the captain of a very, 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 very big ship. Oh, he is the captain of a very, 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 very big ship. Okay, well... I am the captain of my own cabin on shore. A water's overrated and a very big bore. This vessel where I nestle will not sink anymore. Oh, I am the captain of my very, 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 very old cabin on shore. Oh, he is the captain of his very, 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 very own cabin on shore. And he won't ever, 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 ever have to worry anymore. Nothing seems to fit with me. Perfect. Maybe instead of thinking about it so much, you should just feel it. Feel it? <laughs> yeah, like that. Hey, guys. Iris, how do you do it? Do what? You just always seem to know what to do. I don't think about it. I just gotta feel it. Hey, where'd that music come from? You just gotta rock it on. What's the use, Ruby? Ow! I give up. Hey! <sighs> Cut it out! Stop it! <sighs> I sure hope he's okay. Where are you going? 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 I might know my next of kin if I only had some skin. Subdued am I? In a bad mood am I? Where do I fit in? Skullboy, are you listening? Skullboy, are you listening? Yeah, I think so. Who are... Skullboy, are you listening? Okay, yes, I'm listening. Do you see the lights are glistening? Wow, who are you guys? Angels? Oracles? Do you see the lights are glistening? 
Oh, sorry. Yes, I see the lights are glistening. All of the lights are glistening. Snowboy, are you listening? Yes, yes, I am. Follow the lights that are glistening. Got it. This must be something otherworldly speaking to me, because I heard the voices and didn't see them. Plus, this is about the time in a musical where this kind of thing happens. Skullboy, welcome to the rock opera that is your life! <gasps> wow! So, you're confused about who you are? Not to worry, we've got it all figured out. Hit it, Lynn! I know what to say about Skullboy. I know exactly what to say about him. Skullboy's the guy we're singing about. He is... This song is, uh, Lynn. Skullboy's the guy that we know. Oh, 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 and he's singing. Skullboy, what did you think? Skullboy? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Where are you? Oh, nothing is going right today. <laughs> nothing. What's the big deal? Who said that? What's all the big What do you mean? Misery? Hold your head up high. You okay, Misery? Misery? So life can look you in the eye. Ow. What's the big deal? Don't count scars. Things could be worse than they usually are. If you're feeling crumb. Everyone's advice and none of it quite fits. I guess I just don't fit in anywhere. <sighs> hey, SB! Long time no ABC! Skelly T? In the bone! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hey, hey! Hey, wanna stick around here for a bit? Thanks, SB! That would be the cat's whiskers. Guys? Well, we got an ankle. Guys! Get on the flip side, pronto! Uh, can I ask you some advice? Lay it on the table! Uh, when it comes to life... Ah, uh, life? That's easy. With no shops, it's flat. Flat? It's all about this. CSB. Wait! Stop! Can I come with you? You sure you know your onions? Huh? You sure that's what you want? Oh, yeah, Daddy-O. I'm hip to the jive to, uh, hit, hit the road with you, dogs. I mean, cats. <laughs> sure, come on along. Great. There's just something I have to do first. Okay, but hurry. We gotta get a wig along. Go!
think I've finally found where I belong, Ruby. Those guys are just like me. That's great, Skullboy. I'm so happy for you. You have to do what you have to do. Follow your... If that's... If you... Oh, I'm sorry. For once, I don't know what to say. Look on the bright side. Thanks, but right now, the bright side is more of a just barely enough light side. Okay, then. Look on the just barely enough light side. That's the right side to see. Did I say that? Come on, Ruby. I know you've got one more in you. What do you say? Well, when you love, when you like something, set it free. Cause you'll always have a friend in me It's more of a see ya than a goodbye There's no need for you to cry When you look on the bright or the barely enough light Skullboy? Don't go, Skullboy! I am afraid I will never see you again. Come on, everybody. We can't hold Skullboy back from happiness. Uh, I wasn't gonna sing that time. I'll never forget you guys. Well, see ya. Bye. Bye. See ya. Hey, Ruby. I'm on my way. Good luck. Where are you going? Where are you going? This goodbye is getting drawn. Going once, going twice. Going, going, gone. How are we ever going to get by without Skullboy? Come on, guys. Sure. We're going to miss Skullboy, but what's best for him is best for us, right? You're right, Ruby. I guess. We'll be fine. I'm used to crisis. Bummer. throat I would swat it if he had a little spinach in his teeth that was really wedged in there and sort of wiggling when he's talking and you're really not sure what it's going to do next I would make him aware if he had jam between his toes after wearing socks four days in a row I would take him aside and privately tell him don't you see there's nothing in Gloomsville I wouldn't do for him Even if his name was Jim I will miss him from his skeletal toes Right up to his skeletal snout Who am I kidding? I'm bummed out To be continued Hair less the Musical, Part 2. Previously on Ruby Gloom. Everything was normal. Well, except that everyone seemed to be singing. When Skullboy decided he needed to know who he was, big time. After a series of events with him trying not to be bummed out about it, and everyone trying to convince him not to be bummed out about it, Skullboy decides to be less bummed out about it. <sighs> so he leaves for a magical new land to meet a wizard. Oh, sorry, wrong script. He leaves with Skelly T. Okay, off he goes. Bye-bye. Then, Ruby has to cheer the gang up, which we all know she's really good at, but they miss Skullboy so much it doesn't even work. Not only that, for the first time, Ruby has a hard time cheering herself up. She sings some touching song here. Oh, me already? <laughs> okay, uh, then what happens? So, oh, I think we're caught up now. Perfect. Tune in next time. I mean now, or any time really, for the continuing saga of Hairless, the musical. What are you looking at me for? Get going! Am I getting scale for this gig? buzzing around his nose, ears, and 
an upper throat, we would swat it. And if he had spinach wedged in his teeth, even though that would be out of character and therefore scary, we would tell him. If he had jam in his toes after wearing socks four days in a row, we, we would um, take him aside and privately tell him. Don't you see there's nothing in the world we wouldn't do for him, even if his name was Jim. If he borrowed my tape 5,675 times in a row and never brought it back or brought it back with a sticky piece stuck on the roll so you couldn't peel it off, I would use glue. If he left the toothpaste lid off for 3,522 days and it was very crusty and clogged and we had a show to do that night. It's pretty desperate because I just ate some garlic bread. I would... Use lens tube. If he used up my 7,655 first aid kits, including all my bandages, gauzes, ointments, and spare crutches to build a miniature model Egyptian pyramids, and even though it was a perfect replica, I needed the first aid stuff desperately. I would let it heal naturally or use aloe. Don't you see there's nothing in Bloomsville we wouldn't do for him Even if his name was Jim We will miss him from his skeletal toes right up to his skeletal snout Who are we kidding? We're bummed out guys. Skullboy would never want us to be in these doldrums. You know what I always say. Make sure you wash your hands before eating? Yeah, okay, that. But also... Look on the bright side! Thanks, Ruby. But right now, it's more of a barely enough light side. There's a barely enough light side? Look on the bright side! But what if it hurts your eyes? If you look long enough, the view won't be so rough. When I'm scared and feel like whining, no, there's always a silver lining. <laughs> what if our bummed outness starts growing? When the going gets bummed, the bummed out get going. So I guess you're saying in. This musical aside That we really should try To make sure we always have a fun ride That's it, you're getting it! When you look on the bright Or the barely enough light so By side By side No, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so much better now. I know it cheered me up. Oh, yes. For Skullboy's sake, we must carry on and make the best of it. Yeah. yeah! That's the spirit, guys. Let's do all those fun things we used to do with Skullboy. It'll be almost like he's still here. Come on, right gang. On. Yeah! Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's face it, it's just not the same around here without Skullboy. Oh, thanks, Doom. <gasps> A postcard from Skullboy! All right! Really? Cool. Dear Ruby, I really miss all your faces. But I'm seeing all these really great places. I wish you could see 
all that I see. Which is different than Gloomsville, I must agree. Ow! Oops, I wasn't supposed to write that. Wonder what he's getting at. What's great is this place is new and bizarre. Hey, does anyone know where the skeletons are? Oops, did I write that down too? I'm so excited to be writing to you. Well, Ruby, I must really go. As you know, we're doing a show. I wish you guys were here in this new land. I better go and find my band. Yours truly, Skull Boy. Wow, sounds like he's having a great time. Yeah, I wish I was there. Me too. Anyone know where Skelly T and his band is? Anyone? Uh, they're famous musicians. <gasps> Skelly T? Woohoo! Hey, hey, SB, you made the grade. Hey! Finally! I've been looking all over for you. Where's all your fans you talked about? Hey, thanks, Daddy-O. We'll send you a t-shirt. Now, don't be a sad sack of potatoes. If you're going to be a skeleton, you better get in skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's not even a real rhyme. You just repeated the word. Take it, SB! Uh, I, I, I don't know the words. There ain't no words in scat, my skelly man. Go! <laughs> uh, scat! Hippie hoppy skitty scatty! Scat! To my hat! Is got! Kit! Kit! Well, uh, I'm a big painter from Italy. It's in uh, my bones. Your skull boy. Okay, wait. I have another one. Well. As a descendant of a long line of head shrinkers, I find this analysis very interesting. Skull oh boy. Oh boy. This isn't working, Ruby. No, I guess guess the friend just isn't the same without Skull Boy. If it's all right by you, I think I'd rather go back to my den and uh, twiddle my thumbs. Oh, well, that sounds like a grand idea to me. <sighs> Nothing I'm doing is working to cheer them up. You can't let it get you down. But you don't understand, Misery. Sometimes it's not easy being the happiest girl. Well, maybe I'll take over. Maybe I could give it a whirl. <laughs> don't worry, Misery. That's just not you. That's for me. I wish I could help out. I wish I could bounce with glee. I don't mind. I cheer friends up. And I don't mind being in this rut. I'm the dark. I'm the dawn. After all, it's in our job description. So I'll go on being cheerful. And I'll be all tearful. When things go wrong, I know I'm the buffer And I'm okay to just sit and suffer From the dark, I'm the dawn After all, it's in our job description Hey, I've got an idea on how to cheer the gang up <laughs> Great, cause I don't Nothing like a party to cheer you up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, yeah. Party. Well, dig in, everyone. Pass the milk, please, Iris. Sure. Pass the bread, please, Misery. Yep. Pass the salt, please, Skull Boy. <gasps> <gasps> nice one, Len. Skullboy isn't here to pass salt or anything else. 
I can't take it anymore. I miss Skullboy. Me too. I have to agree. Man the guitar, Len. <laughs> Pass the soap, please, skull boy. Pass the soap, please, skull boy. Not an idle boy, we're not trying to be coy. Life is too hard to enjoy. Life is too hard. Life is too hard without you. We're feeling it through and through. And it's not indigestion. We release us that suggestion. We couldn't even eat our food. Except I ate the stuff on my plate. Where are you? Skullboy, is it true? Are you never coming here to chew as we would chew with you? Chew with you, chew with you, chew, chew, chew with you, chew with you, chew with you, chew, chew, chew with you. Pass the salt, please, Skullboy. Nothing would give us more joy. To have you here, we'll give a cheer. And we'll be exalt to see your metacarpals pass, 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 pass the salt. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to find Skullboy. Yeah! I try to fit in and have some fun But I hate to burst your balloon I may be a skeleton But I ain't no skeleton I don't know bones about it A musical gene, I'm without it I could try to dance bolero But there's no rhythm in my marrow My career is done before it's begun I can't even play the spoons You see, I may be a skeleton But I ain't no skeleton I hate to be the newbie If only I could find room Young man, you got nothing to lose. You got chops, the ducks, and the brew. Really? I'm good? You sure? You just wrote a song that's all the rage. We gotta get you up on the stage. You may be a skeleton, but you're also a skeleton. Uh, okay, that's great. Sure, now, here's what we're gonna do. Blah, 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 blah. About tonight's wow, tonight's look tonight's at tonight's that. A thread reminds me of home. We see threads hold buttons, and a button is one of the primary features on Mr. Buns, who is handcrafted and welded by my dear friend Ruby. I'm sorry, Skelly T, but I gotta go home. I just realized something really great. It feels like I've been gone since June. I miss my friends, my fleas, and everyone. I may not be a skeleton, but I am a skeleton. Don't you get it? I know who I am. A skeleton. A skeleton who misses his friends. Thanks, guys. He may be a skeleton, but it is a skeleton. Wish to stay. The trolley leaves at noon. Where we go and where we go. Our destination we are knowing. Our excitement it is growing. Wow, this lawn needs mowing. Come on, guys. Our journey's just begun. I may not be a skeleton, but I am a skeleton. <laughs> guys, I'm home. I'm home! Huh, I missed you guys. Guys? Anyone? Hello? 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 Skullboy? Ruby? Hello, Skullboy? Skelly T, finally we found you. Hey, cool socks. How you chillin'? You fly? How are you? Oh. Better now that I've found you. We're looking for Skullboy. Oh, SB? Well, he went back to his crib. Let me explain it to you more clearly. Thanks. That would be great. SB came to jam, but let's be straight. At first, the swing was like a rusty gate. He wouldn't snap your cap, blow your top. It wasn't great. 
Ah. Then we found him playing on his own, and he was down by law. In the pocket, dropping jaws, he shone. We invited him to join the band for perm. For real. For good. <gasps> but SB needed to get back to his pad, his scene, his hood. That's our place. Yep, nothing was worth those homesick knocks. He missed his mates, his hipsters, and cool socks. <gasps> Me? Yep, you're hep. You hep? Yep. Hmm. Are you saying he was inspired, moved, fractured? to return, rather than be with a band that good, that great, the Burns? Uh, yeah, that's it, I, I think. You mean he'd rather get back to his hometown than have fun cut loose, get down? Pretty much like that. He gave up fame even though he had the talent and looks. He'd rather be with us than a scene that's neat, that's cool, that cooks? That's basically what we're saying. But uh, we better stick to playing. I'm hip now, Daddy. Oh, I ain't gonna gloss. Thanks, Skelly T. You're the boss. This is great news, guys. It, it is? is? Yes. Ruby, what just happened there? Skullboy's coming home. Yeah! yeah! We better get back there to welcome him. Hello, Ruby. Anyone here? Must have gone off on a wild adventure somewhere. I guess they didn't even notice I was gone. You may feel quite alone, but here it is simple tone. We take care of our own. It's called the family. Let me give you a piece of advice. No need to look over your shoulder twice. We got your back, see? We're nice. It's, it's called, called the family. family. Are you listening to the score? Ruby and them, who could ask for more? I never knew it before. It's, it's called, called the family. The family. Yeah, the kids got it's it. It's called my family. Okay, let's get some pizza going. It's called my family. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Anyone for some meatballs? Thanks, guys. Whoa. Now, where's the salt around here? Here you go. It's called the family. You may feel quite alone, but hear this simple tone. To be part of this fray From this group I won't stray It's called the family It's called the family It's called the family It's called the family It's called the band I mean the family I'm hip, yup the family! Yeah, Welcome sure, home, lad. Welcome home. Okay. Ooh, a little too tight. <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh, forget it. Who needs to breathe anyway? Come on, Joe! <laughs> Whoa, Doom, you're a dancer? Don't be silly, Frank. She's just cleaning up the dance floor. Right, Doom? Misery and Miserable, Act Two. <laughs> And don't get me started on my termite infestation. 
Oh, so what else is new, Miserable? You mean besides my phlebitis? And this crick in my neck? Maybe it just needs an adjustment. <coughs> Whoa, that's better. Except for my pleurisy, my whooping cough. <coughs> this sudden headache. <sighs> Ow! My head. Ouch! Again with the head. Whoa! <coughs> That'll do it. Uh, I didn't quite get that. That's because there's a scarf over my mouth. Sorry, Miserable. I can't tell what you're saying with that scarf over your mouth. That's our set for tonight. We'll be back soon. Right, Miserable? Get the sing off of me! Misery! <laughs> One, two, three, four. Thanks, Skullboy. It's the title track of our next album, Rock Us. Nice play on words, Frank. It's Rock Us, all right. Yeah, it is. Rock Us. That's the title. Scaredy is especially raucous in his drum solo. <laughs> She's a sweet girl, but why does she keep repeating the title of our album? It must mean she likes it. <coughs> Thank you for noticing, Ruby. You are too kind. How could I not? You're a great drummer. Yep. Lynn and I call him our little bat with the big beat. Which is way better than a big bat with a little beat. <laughs> what amazes me is how different you are behind the kit. Different, you say? Yeah, you're usually so shy and quiet, but you don't seem to mind us watching you drum out. Not to mention all of us in the audience at your record release concert next week. You are right. I am not the least bit afraid. But... If I am not afraid, there must be something very wrong. And that makes me very afraid. Sorry, Frank and Len, but I must resign my position as your big beat, effective immediately. Scaredy. Wait. Uh, that was weird. It's almost like he quit because of what we said. Really? Almost like? Try exactly like? Like exactly. Oops. <laughs> Hello, Gloomsville! We're here to rock your gloomy world! This isn't working, guys. Scaredy always counts us in. He was our most reliable counter-inner. Worst of all, we have a record to finish and only days to do it in. And we don't have a drummer! No need to rub it in, Len. Maybe we can find another counter-inner. Drummer. Hey! <laughs> Don't worry, lads. If you need a drummer, I've got the beat in me bones. <coughs> I'll go see what I can do about getting Scaredy back. Good idea. In the meantime, we can always use our trusty old drum machine. <coughs> or I can invent you a cool new one. Wow! This is, uh, some fun, <laughs> huh, Misery? Yeah, I haven't had so much fun since... <coughs> Why are we doing this again, Ruby? We're trying to lure Scaredy back to drumming. We'll start him off on a triangle and slowly work him up to bongos. If my plan works, he'll be back with Frank and Len in no time. Mm. <gasps> oh, here he comes now. <laughs> mm. 
That is an oddly compelling tune. Thanks! Want to join? And look, we just happen to have an extra triangle. Ooh, shiny. I am in. Great! But play this instead. Bongo drums? No! <sighs> so much for my big plan. Now what? How about Mary had a little lamb? No, Iris. I meant, what do we do about Scaredy? Um, you're a disgraced queen about to go to the gallows? I get it. Doom is saying we should try using reverse psychology. <laughs> hey, yeah! If you tell Scaredy that Frank and Len don't need him, he'll come back just to prove them wrong. I don't know, guys. Who's to say it'll even work? Yeah, you're probably right. It's bound to fail. It has absolutely no chance of working whatsoever. Hey, don't give up, Misery. We can do this. Let's give it a try. Wait a second. Reverse psychology? Wow. It really does work. So, um, you see, uh... Yes, Ruby? You are wanting to tell me something? Yes, um, we, we think that, um, don't take this personally, but... Remember, reverse psychology for his own good. Beans and Frank and Len don't need you in their band. Sorry. Wahoo! Wahoo? Yes, absolutely, Wahoo. I was feeling a tad guilty for letting the guys down, but by telling me the truth, you have lifted a great weight from my shoulders. Oh, thank you, Ruby. Wait, that wasn't the truth. I didn't mean it. I've got to think of a way to reverse the reverse psychology. Well... That was a total success. What? It was a complete... Right! This is so exciting. I can't wait. Neither can I. Is it ready yet? Is it? Huh? Is it? It's ready. Gentlemen, I give you my Beatronic 3000. Patent pending. <laughs> Let's kick it, shall we? Cool. Scaredy? Ah! Hi. I just wanted to say that you really are a great drummer. But you just said I was not. I know. I only said that so... so you'd go back to the band. It's a reverse psychology thing. Reverse psychology what? Never mind, long story. The truth is, Frank and Len really need you and... And you're big beat, so... Scaredy? Is that you drumming? No! <laughs> yes, it was me. Oh, Ruby, I miss drumming very much. I am pulled by the beat, then pushed by the fear. Pulled and pushed, pulled and pushed, pulled and pushed, pulled, pushed, pulled, pushed, pushed. Oh, oh. oh, you get the picture, I hope. I think you just need to give yourself another chance. Another chance? Oh, I do not know, Ruby. It appears I can only drum when no one else is around. That's weird. You were drumming a moment ago, and I was right here. I think I know how to get you back behind the kit. <laughs> uh, looks like we're gonna need an even better drum machine. <laughs> no need for that, Skullboy. Someone's back to rejoin the band. Hello. Oh, welcome back, buddy. There's just one catch. No one can look at Scaredy when he's playing. What about our record release gig? Our hordes of fans? Let's take this one step at a time. No looking? I'm already on it. On what? What are you looking at? Really? You do not mind pretending that I am not here? Funny. 
I can hear Scaredy, but uh, can't see him. Uh-oh. Maybe you should see an eye doctor, Frank. He's right there. Len, I don't need an eye doctor. I just want Scaredy back, wherever he is. So, should we just look away? I've got a better idea. We'll just play in the dark. Hit it, Scaredy! One, two, three, four. Okay, guys? Perhaps we should rethink this? This two way mirror was a great idea, Skullboy. Yeah, Scaredy can't see us, but we can still see him. <gasps> Unfortunately. Uh. Are you ready to go crazy back there? Oh, yes, indeed, Ruby. Excuse me, but was that sufficient? Sufficient? That was incredible! Then let us lay down some tunes for our long playing record, man. Shall we? Like the big beat is back. I'll say, I could listen to him play all night. Oh, yeah! still seems pretty upbeat. You sounded amazing, Scaredy. Oh, thank you, Ruby. Now that I've overcome my fear, I can drum with unbridled abandon. Great. But you might want to take a break and finish your dinner. Oh, yes, quite right. Oh, thank you. Excuse me, Scaredy, but, um... Oh, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but I cannot seem to help myself, you know. <laughs> Sorry, that was my foot tapping. <laughs> Thank you for the delicious meal. I shall go to my room to practice now. Marvelous idea. Silence is easier on the digestion. Sounding good, boys. Yes, except I cannot hear my big beat. Please, perhaps if you could mix down the guitar just a tiny bit. More. More. A little more. Keep going. That's it. a wink last night. Did you fare better? Of course, more milk will make the cereal better. I hope you guys slept. Tonight's your big gig. 
Guys! Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're still wearing earplugs from last night. So we could sleep. Tonight's our big gig, you know? Sorry. Tonight's our big gig, you know? Oh, thank goodness, quiet at last. Glad I could help out, Poe. I know I said I could listen to Scaredy all night, but it's like he's driving us all batty or something. Beat crazy is more like it. I'm not sure my fragile nerves can take much more. Um, be a dear and pass the scones, please, Iris. <sighs> Luckily, sounds like the little guy's taking a break. I hate to say it, but maybe we overdid it with the encouraging. Yeah, it's almost like we created some kind of monster. I'm sure that everything will be fine. I'll talk to Scaredy after the concert. Sounds like a plan. Sorry, guys. We couldn't find Scaredy anywhere. Ruby's still out looking, though. She didn't want to give up. Oh, dear me. The mob appears to be getting rather restless. Who can blame them? We should have been out there an hour ago. Looks like we'll have to cancel. Yeah. Just wouldn't be the same without Scaredy. Crazy little bat. Give it a few more minutes, guys. If anyone can find him, it's Ruby. Well, Doom, it looks like the show will have to go on without Scaredy. I sure hope he's okay. What is it, Doom? You hear Scaredy? Thank goodness cats have great hearing. <sighs> there you are. Oh, hello. Have you come to drive away the monster or to mock it? Monster? You mean, did you? Oh, yes, I heard. That is why I've come here, where I can bother no one. Because they are dead. I'm sorry, Scaredy. We didn't mean that you're a monster. It's just, after you got over your fear of playing, you went a little... Overboard? Obsessive? Or... Sorry, I cannot think of another word with O. It doesn't matter. What's important to remember is we all march to the beat of our own drum. But sometimes that drum beat has to be aware of other drum beats around it, or it will be a little beat crazy. <laughs> get it? Oh, I get it, Ruby. You are truly a good friend. But why did you not say something earlier? I didn't want to make you nervous before the... <gasps> the concert must have started. Oh, no! I have let down my bandmates once again. Hurry, maybe we're not too late. Ahem. Thanks for coming out, Gloomsville. But we have some bad news. Rock us. Now this is what I call civilized. I can actually hear myself think. Yeah, Scaredy. What happened to your bash, bang, boom, crash? Well, I still enjoy drumming, but thanks to Ruby, I have learned I do not have to do it all the time. Here, here. Leaving me free to pursue other worthwhile endeavors, such as... <laughs> Must be something he ate, Len. Yeah, must be something he ate. Film night with me, Skullboy. What cinematic masterpiece do you have for us today, Skullboy? Just some film I shot of a star drummer in the making. 
Ooh, me? Scaredy, you'll never doubt how good you are after you see this raw footage. <gasps> oh, thank goodness I did not know you were filming. Oh, you know how nervous that makes me. Just a little technical difficulty. Oh, well, Skullboy, better luck next time. Oh, but this is the next time. Wow. Smile, this is Skullboy Camera. <laughs> Ace Flyer with Iris. Renowned international flying ace, Tenacious Eye, prepares for her latest perilous, death-defying, never-before-seen mission. <coughs> she mounts her trusty flying machine, the Squig Raider. Possibly for the last time ever. Because one false move, one false blink, one false anything, and splat! Or crash! Or splat crash, or crash splat, or splat crash crash splat! Okay, we get it! Sheesh! All right, Squig, this won't hurt a bit. Iris struggles with every oh, bone, there. muscle, Sheesh. and sinew in her body oh, to control the oh, wild Squig. Squig! Not helpful. And just oh, when it there. seems all is lost, oh. the cavalry appears. So, the seasonal squig wash ends without incident. For the most part. <laughs> yeah, I can smell victory! No, 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 no. This one's going right down the middle. Yes! Try and beat that, Mr. Poe. No, oh dear. Hiya! Hiya! Ha! No way that shoe's ever gonna come. Close. Oh, unbelievable. How is it you keep winning, Poe? Well, as you may or may not recall, I studied the science of posture and learned that perhaps it is my complex aerodynamically dynamic form. No, huh? Well, it must be these horseshoes which I recently picked up at the antique horseshoe and bag sale. I also got this lovely feed bag which goes with the shoes. Care for a snack? Okay, one more, Poe. This time, you're going down! Uh, just kidding. Yes! Here! Here! My! Bad enough you win all the time. But you don't have to rub it in. Rub it in? Yeah, with the fireworks. Fireworks? What fireworks? I didn't call for any fireworks. Well then, what's that? Be good! Gentlemen, I believe that is the house blasting off into the sky. Oh. oh. It's up. For the first time, I'm speechless. Really, really speechless. I couldn't say a word, really. Nothing comes to mind. Oh, oh my gosh, listen to that wind. Oh, my goodness. Is there a storm or something brewing? Ah! That is some storm. <laughs> Scary, what's going on? I am very woozy. Hang on, Scary. 
scaredy? Oh, yes, I am hanging. Yes, yes, thank you. Doom? Great idea, Doom. Iris, you be the anchor. Skullboy, grab onto me. Here goes. Good one, Doom. Ready? Push! Uh, misery. Pull. All right. Pull! 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 Gotcha! <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh! Thank you. No problem. I'd just like to point out that the house is no longer on the ground. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, it's sort of my fault. I was experimenting with the velocity of electromagnetic photons when I must have miscalculated the impulse to energy ratio of the pulsed plasma thruster. I think I added too much baking soda. Oh! Oh, thank you, Skullboy. You know, I am glad you cleared up that nagging baking soda issue. But, you know, one question. What are we going to do now? Our friends! The house! Now, friends in the house, we must do something. Hmm. 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 I've got it. What? We get a ladder, and then you, Poe, climb on our shoulders, and and then we climb the ladder, and then... Oh, really? That should be plan D. Huh? Right. What's plan A, B, and C? Anything that does not involve the use of a ladder. Smart. Look! We're in space! Whoa! <laughs> This is going to be some adventure. It sure is. Hey, look at me. I'm a bridge to nowhere. Look, guys, I'm losing my head. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, if you please. Right, Scaredy. Back to business. We must be calm while we figure out how to get back down to the ground. I would be satisfied with getting back down to the floor, thank you. Oh, what is happening to us? Zero gravity, Scaredy. Oh, of course. Ah! Neat! <laughs> hey, guys! Iris! Hang on! We'll get you down! You ready, Poe? I'm really not so sure of this. It'll work like a charm. Yeah, you fly up, hook yourself onto the house, and we'll pull you and the house down together. Right then. Tally ho! <laughs> we have lift off! <laughs> oh, gee. Sorry, Poe. <laughs> Guess we kind of stepped on the rope by mistake. <laughs> uh oh. You ready to go again? Sure. In a few months. Okay. I've got it! On the count of three, everybody bounce up and down on the back wall, and we'll be down in no time. One, two, three. Again. Once more. Hey, it worked for my great, great, great Aunt Minnie in the treehouse disaster of 1889. Of course, she didn't survive the fall to the ground from the top of the tree. But isn't survival overrated? How will we ever get down? Uh, I don't know. I have the perfect solution. That's what they all say. Now, when you get up there, remember to wave to us. We'll see it through the telescope. Just a sec, Frank. I dropped my <laughs> guitar pick. Here it is. He remembered the signal. Um, excuse me. Oh, right, coming. When I say push, you push. Maybe we can steer the house down by rocking it back and forth. Hey, guys, did you ever want to visit the moon? Because we're about three seconds away from hitting it. Push! <laughs> <gasps> Faster! Faster! No, oh, no! 
they're headed for a crash landing on the moon. Oh, I can't look. The moon is going to swallow them whole or chew them up and spit them out. Either or. The moon has teeth? Oh, yeah. Lunar molars. No way. Keep rocking. I think it's working. I don't think it's working. Look. Hold on, everybody. Is everybody okay? Yeah. Yeah. Define okay. If I may ask, what is occurring? We're caught in the moon's orbit. Uh, and what will become of us in the moon's orbit? We will continue going round and round and round. You mean, like, on a ride at the Gloomsville Fair? Yeah, and we get progressively more lightheaded and disoriented and slowly go crazy because of the thin atmosphere. That kind of ride? <laughs> Well, you know, that does not sound like a very good ride. But it doesn't sound bad either. Going crazy can be fun. <laughs> fun! Fun! Fun. Soon they will lose their ability to think straight. It's all up to us to save them. Yeah, because if there's anybody that can think straight, it's us. <laughs> right? Of course. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Communications Officer Ruby, what is our position? We are still orbiting the planet Moon, Captain. Lieutenant Iris, take this ship to warp speed 29 so we can bust out of orbit. Aye, aye, Captain. Stop! We have all gone mad! Oh, mad, I tell you, mad! Scary, get a grip on yourself. As I tell you, mad! Bravo! Bravo! Brilliant! Yes, well, that was from an old B-movie I saw once. Now, getting back to our dilemma. We were acting? I believe the loopiness has begun. Next thing you know, Scaredy, you'll become so disoriented that you'll float out the front door into the cosmos of no return. <laughs> We will use a can't-lose technique of mind control to will the house down to the ground. I learned this in psychology class when I was at the academy. It requires extreme concentration. It doesn't get more extreme than us. Yeah! <laughs> now close your eyes and think of the house as a light feather. What kind of feather? Any kind will do. Um, a peacock feather? Yes, 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 that's fine. Now, focus on that feather floating down. Hey, Frank, what feather are you thinking about? Penguin. I said focus on that feather floating down to Earth from space. What feather are you thinking about, Poe? Well, any feather! Huh? What kind of bird's an any? Oh, this is impossible. You're not kidding. Hmm. How do you expect this to work with so many different kinds of feathers floating around? Oh. Hey! What if instead of a feather, we thought of a kitchen appliance? We've just got to come up with a plan. Now, hey, where's Skull Boy? I'm here. How? Anti-zero gravity belt buckle. Works on the buckle down principle. I've got one for everybody. Oh, thank you, please. Here! Here! Ruby! What about me? <gasps> hey, look! The moon is turning green. Pretty soon it's gonna get so sick, it's gonna keel over and crush us. And then fall to the earth and smash into the earth into a flaming fireball of mayhem and chaos. But at least we'll get down. Okay, now everybody gather round. 
beg your pardon, Ruby, but are you sure this will work? Scaredy, the only thing I'm sure of is that we might not make it out if we don't make an effort to get out. I'm game. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Uh... Look, the house is shaking. By Jove, I believe they are trying to vibrate it out of the moon's orbit by song. Cool. Nothing can shake you out of your situation like a sweet tune. Go, guys. Sing, sing, sing. Uh, so? Well, you were a little sharp on the high note, and I think Skullboy was a semitone lower. And we're still orbiting the moon. Hey, it almost worked. Next time. It's hopeless. Yeah, I haven't felt this down since the last time I felt this down. Oh, how will we ever get our friends back? Here we are in peril and those guys are still playing horseshoes. Although, something about that horseshoe just didn't seem right. Poe tossed it in the opposite direction and it still hit the post. Maybe it's magnetic. Maybe. Like this. Ow. Ow. Misery, magnets are attracted to you. How is that? Well, maybe because my body is rich in iron. Not so much riboflavin. It's a family thing. That's it! That's it! Quick! Misery, follow me! We have no time to lose! <laughs> this is our last chance. It better work. Misery? If I don't come back, promise me you won't give my bed of nails away to just anyone. I promise. Here goes nothing. I don't get it. There's something very strange about this horseshoe. Whoa! Huh? Ah! How am I going to see how strange it is if you keep pulling on it, Frank? You stop pulling on it, Len. I'm not. You are. Am not. Are too. Not. Are. Not. Wait, that's curious. Young Bodkins, that horseshoe is having some sort of magnetic effect. They've got it. They figured it out. Now pull the horseshoe towards you. Now walk backwards. Bloomsville, we have a solution. Yes! Keep going back. Back. Back? He wants us to come back? Yeah. We better go back and find out. Go back! Go back! You wanted us to come back, Poe? I said go back! Go back! In that direction! Oh, why didn't you say so? Ah! Now go! Run! Run with everything you have in you! Race it to the horizon! You're on! Never change. Keep going. Keep going. Keep. Go. Oh, never mind. They did it. They did it. We're safe on the ground. Yay. Ow. Oh. Yay. Oh, ow. Ow. Yay. Thank goodness everyone's okay. <laughs> Well, that's enough, lads. You don't have to keep going now. Keep going now? <laughs> okay. Anything for our friends. <clears throat> Ow! Uh, guys, I think you can stop now. Okay, Iris, and check this out. Game. I can't believe it. I win again. Well, you don't have to rub it in. Huh? With the fireworks? Fireworks? Those aren't fireworks! That's 
Frankenland's garage. Wow, so that's what happens when you crank the volume up to 11. Yeah, I have to ask. Cool. Ruby's Mailbag with Ruby and Misery. This next question is from Julia. Julia writes, Dear Ruby, what is your secret to seeing the glass half full? Thank you for that question, Julia. Allow us to demonstrate the answer. Julia, I am holding a glass that is half full. Misery? And I am holding a glass that is half empty. But with friends, your glass is completely full. Or entirely empty. <laughs> I guess it depends on whether you're thirsty or not. Or whether you have very bad anitis fever, which means you need to drink lots of water. Oh, no. What's very bad anitis fever? Well, it's worse than not as bad anitis fever. And better than much worse anitis fever. Naturally. Naturally. So, Julia, I guess the glass can be half full or empty. Or full and then empty full. Or then empty full and then empty. Or just, I guess, whatever you need it to be. Oops. You okay, Misery? No worries. I, uh, hope that answered your question, Julia. Thanks for writing in. Hide and Seek with Doom and Friend. your own best friend. and I'd think I'd be on the roof. Thanks, guys. You want to hear it again? Uh, maybe another time. How about one of our other songs, like Smoke Meat on the Water, Whole Lot of Grub, or Born to Walk? Baby, we were born to walk! Um... Come on, Len. Maybe we should just let her get ready. After all, it's her first time hosting the Gloomsville World's Fair. Good thinking, Frank. My first time hosting. I'm so nervous and excited. It's just, I want everything to be perfect. Knock, knock. Who's there? Norma Lee. Norma Lee who? Norma Lee, I have my key. Morning, Ruby. Hey, Misery. Glad to see you're up. Can you see the gladness in my face? Uh, yeah, all over it. Thanks for making sure I'm awake. It was nothing. See you there. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about failing. Just because you have only one day to make it right, and if you mess it up, you'll probably never get another chance ever. That didn't come out right. See you there? I'm sure it's going to be the best World's Fair ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ow. Ah! 
Welcome, every, uh, one to the, whoa, Gloomsville World's Fair, the best fair in the world. I am your host, Gloomy Rube. Oh, I mean, uh, Ruby Gloom. Prepare to celebrate the past, look into the future, and witness defying feats of, uh, death defyingness, never seen before anywhere. Well, anywhere before. Come on along. Hey, look, the phone of the future. How's that phone portable? Hey, look, a person of the future. I guess that's how. <laughs> okay, next we have Misery with her unique glimpse into the past. <laughs> and strangers. Welcome to the Misery Family Heirloom. Sail. Sail? Ooh, sail! Misery, we didn't talk about it being a sail. I know. I figured I might as well save up for my medical bills of the future. Friends! Here you will have the chance to purchase one of the many delightful artifacts of the Misery family past. Here before your very eyes is the key to the city, the lost city of Atlantis. Fascinating. And how did you come by the key, Misery? The key was given to me by my great-great-great-grandmother, who got it from her great-great-great-aunt, who won it in the lost city of Atlantis's Bake Off. Ow. One year for her apple crumble. Apple crumble! And here we have a piece of that apple crumble. I'll give you 40 bucks for it, Misery. I'll give you 50. 100. 800. Thousand. Million. Gazillion. Soul. Yes. Uh, Ruby, I know this is a sale and all, but I don't think I can let go of the apple crumble. It's been in my family for so long. Okay, okay, gotcha. You're attached to the crumble. Um, uh, oh, look at the time. Do put the pedal to the metal. But what about my apple crumble? Okay. I'll speak louder and try not to mumble. Uh oh. Do look out! The anticipation is killing me. perform feats of death-defying amazement. I am so looking forward to this. To demonstrate, Squeak here will climb to the top of the platform and dive into the small pool below. Ooh. Hey, Iris. Thanks so much for getting this together on short notice. Oh, not a problem, Ruby. It's gonna be great. Come on, Squeak. You can do it. Come on, boy. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> there. This is gonna be good. I can't watch. Well, that's a long way down. Yeah, and if he misses, splat! <gasps> Splotch? Drum roll, please. On the count of three, Squig will dive into the small pool of water. One, two, three! I don't think he's gonna jump, Ruby. Maybe he's just calculating the angles and wind velocity. Uh, maybe you should check out the next exhibit and come back later. Right. Good idea, Iris. You sure everything's all right, Ruby? Uh, of course. Temporary setback. Moving on, everybody. Ruby, I think we could be rushing this. I, I haven't really tested the machine. Scout Boy, I have a good feeling about the Candytronic 6000. 
Good feeling. The Candytronic 6000 is the future of candy enjoyment. It will unwrap a candy and pop it in your mouth without you ever getting your hands sticky. Ooh. I have here a candy. I will place the candy in the Candytronic 6000, like so. And now I will pull the start switch and await the candy delight. Uh, this is strange. Uh, oh, no, boy! The fair is a disaster. I've let everybody down. You guys, Gloomsville, the world. Hey, don't worry about it, Ruby. Yeah, yeah no, no big, big deal. deal. Thanks, guys. But I feel terrible because there's nothing I can do about it. I am sure after a good night's rest, we will all look back on it and laugh. I'm laughing about it right now. Uh, you don't look like you're laughing. Inside. If you were my pancreas, you'd know what I was talking about. Well, let's sleep on it. Maybe it won't feel so bad in the morning. Bring, <laughs> bring! You awake, Ruby? You awake, Ruby? You awake, Ruby? Yes. See you soon! See you soon! See you soon! Wow, that was weird. Exactly the way she woke me up yesterday. I wonder what she meant by see me soon. Yeah? I love the song, but you didn't have to wake me up with it like you did yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Don't you remember? <laughs> of course. <laughs> no. You, Lynn? Absolutely uh, not. And, and then you, Lynn, asked if I wanted to hear it again. And I said no. And then you asked me if I wanted to hear any of your other songs, like Smoke Meat on the Water. Back me up here, Doom. Mm. Doom? Uh, and and I said no. And then you, Frank, said... Come on, Len. Maybe we should just let her get ready. After all, it's her first time hosting. Exactly. But it's not my first time hosting because the World's Fair was yesterday and I hosted and it turned into a complete disaster. Remember? Nerves. Yeah. We better give her a little, uh, alone time. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. See you later, Ruby. This is very freaky, Doom. Everything that happened yesterday is happening the exact same way today. Don't believe me? Next, we'll hear a knock at the door, and it'll be Misery with a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. See? I told you so. Who's there? Norma Lee. Normally who? Normally I have my key. Morning, Ruby. Hi, Misery. Glad you're up. Can you see the gladness in my face? Misery, I knew you were going to say that. Because everything that happened this morning happened the exact same way yesterday morning. Maybe it's just nerves. After all, it's your first time hosting the fair. But the World's Fair was yesterday. Don't you remember? It was a complete disaster and all because of me. Ruby, I would have definitely remembered because I'm the queen of remembering disasters. Remember? I'm also the queen of disasters, by the way. And the princess. And the baroness. See you there. And the countess. And the viscountess. The empress! Am I going crazy? and witness defying feats of, uh, uh, 
Death defyingness never seen anywhere before. Whoa. Come along. Hey, look, the phone of the future. How's that phone portable? Hey, look, a person of the future. Ah! Uh, Ruby, I know this is a sale and all, but I don't think I can let go of the apple crumble. Oh, no! It's happening again! Drum roll, please! I don't think he's gonna jump, Ruby. We didn't really have time to practice. Ruby, I think we could be rushing this. I haven't really tested the machine. Ah! Oh, boy! The fair was a disaster, and it was all my fault. Again. Hey, don't worry about it, Ruby. No. Big deal. How, How did, did she know? know? I'm sure after a good night's rest... We will all look back on it and laugh. <gasps> That's what I was going to say. Or maybe it won't be a big deal. And I won't need to worry. Although I'm not sure if we'll laugh at it. But if we get a good night's sleep... <gasps> hey. But if we get a good night's sleep, I, we, can start all over. That's it! Gotta go. See you later. I mean, earlier. You sure you're okay, Ruby? Fine. Gotta sleep. Bye. Good night's rest? I'm laughing about it right now. She's laughing inside. If you were Misery's pancreas, you'd know what she's talking about. Bye. How about that World's Fair? I'm awake, Iris. What? See you at the fair. <laughs> Guys, save the song for later. See you down at the fair. Normally, I have the key. See you at the fair. Knock, knock. Oh, uh, Ruby? Uh, uh, uh. I know exactly what you're going to say. You do? Announcement! Announcement! The Misery Family Heirloom Sale has been changed to the Misery Family Heirloom Exhibit. But, but, but... And after the fair, I will bake a pan of apple crumble especially for Frank and Len. Yes! Drum roll, please. I don't think he's gonna jump, Ruby. Three, two, one, go! What, may I ask, did you whisper to Iris? I told her I realized that Squig needs Iris on his back to do flying stunts. How clever! Yeah! 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 Oh, yes! Ruby, I think we could be rushing this. You're right, Skullboy, which is why... Oh, darn, I forgot what I was going to say. Hold on, everybody. I have to go take a nap. I'll be back in a flash. Huh? A nap? Now? Naps are useful in order to minimize the impact of trauma. That's what I've heard anyway. <sighs> now I remember what I was going to say. Remember? From when? From before I went for a nap. You went for a nap? Yeah, when I forgot what I was going to say. I don't get it. Here, Skullboy, test the machine on this. That's not a candy. But it is wrapped. Go on, give it a try. I will place the, uh, wrapped thingy in the Candytronic 6000, like so. And now I will pull the start switch and await the candy delight. Oh, no! Get ready to... Applaud. It worked. Your machine is a success. Yes. As a confetti maker. Thank you, Ruby. Hey, don't thank me. <laughs> thank the time warp I'm in. Ah, oh, that was the best World's Fair ever! Yeah, way better than it turned out yesterday. <laughs> Are you sure you're feeling okay, Ruby? Absolutely. Although, I guess I'll feel a lot better if I don't wake up tomorrow and it's still yesterday. No 
Iris. <gasps> no Frank and Len. No misery. It's tomorrow. Isn't that exciting, Doom? I've got to tell everybody. It's tomorrow, everybody. It's tomorrow. Today is tomorrow, which means it's not yesterday anymore. And we got through yesterday, so now it's tomorrow, which is today, and we don't have to relive tomorrow like we did yesterday. <sighs> I'm going back to bed. Wake me up when it's yesterday. Today is tomorrow, everybody. Today is tomorrow. I don't get it. Paint by Mustard with Skullboy. going well. The creative juices, they're... they're just not... juicing. Maybe you need a break. Something to eat. Primo suggestion. <sighs> That's it! Voila! My masterpiece! Skullboy, you are a true condimentistic genius. Mwah! <laughs> Pulling strings with Iris. That was fun. Ouch! Fun. <laughs> sure. Sure was. <laughs> Puppets are so much fun. <laughs> if I have any more fun, I won't be having fun. Hey, Iris. Whoa. I think it's your turn now. Yep. Puppetry is such fun. Okay, Iris. We're going to make you do something really wild. What? For you. <laughs> Oh, come on, Ruby. At least let me stand. Or, or twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby! I've been planning this reunion for a long time. You're gonna love my family. They're all so fun and catastrophic. Beware! 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 Although it's not like them to be more than a week late. I don't understand. And I had such fun games planned. Like, what's my disaster? Endangerment, hazard, peril? Emergency, emergency, the home version. But now... Hey, Misery. How's the reunion coming? <sighs> Nobody's showed so far. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Bummer. Misery, you're lucky. At least you have relatives. You haven't met them. Oops. Um, forgive me, but just imagine the disasters that would befall us with all of your relatives gathered in one place! Yeah, maybe it's just as well it doesn't happen. Usually my reunions are all about mayhem, morose, and migraine. I'm sure they're not that bad. Yeah, they are. Those are some of my relatives. Mayhem, morose, and migraine. No one gets along. And migraine's a bit of a pain. Boy, I'd give anything to have those family problems. Looks like I won't even have them because they're not showing up. Maybe they'll show up tomorrow, Misery. Look on the bright side. Every day is the first day of the rest of your life. I like to think of every day as the third day of the rest of my life. I always leave the first and second open for damage and repair. Maybe. Hello? 
Hello! That didn't sound good. Oh. Ouch. Let's get reunion started. Misery. Mayhem. Ow. Hi, Mayhem. Um, how have you been? Ah, hi, cuz. Me, Mayhem. I live in cave. Yeah, I know. Can you let go, please? See, dinosaurs! One day here, next day gone! Me not know why! Mildo, at your service. Hi. I just brew in on back a volcanic eruption and boy are my arms, legs, whole body tired. No joke. Huh? Ah, misery. I hear so much about you. All bad. Joke. Mildew, I think you know Mayhem. <laughs> Me, Mayhem! Ow! Oops. Hi. I heard all this commotion. Ruby, this is Mildew and Mayhem. Mildew and Mayhem, this is Ruby. Glad to meet you. Yeah! Likewise. Please, let go! Ouch! Uh-oh. I'm queen of the world! Migraine! I demanded the captain stop this ship immediately! Oh, I told him. I had a family reunion to attend. Too bad, Captain. No keep going. Sonny, who invited her? Invitation? I do not need an invitation. I'm queen of the world! In case you hadn't heard the first time. Oh, we heard. The first and 31st time. We always hear. What's that supposed to mean? Uh... Old Confusion saying? You have to help me here, Ruby. These guys have never gotten along. I'm sure they'll be fine. They're family. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought you were joking. Maybe we better distract them from each other. Just follow my lead. So, Misery. Why don't we show your relatives around? That is a swell idea, Ruby. Gloom. This way, cousins. Uh. Don't worry. Your reunion's going to be great. And this is my room. Can Me I try? Can I Me try? try? Sure. Ah. Uh. Come fear than rocking cave. Okay, mayhem. Any time before summer solstice. Me no get that. Respectfully, I bid my turn, Mehemasan. Me no get that either. You no get a lot of things. Uh oh. Oh. Oh look! Is that a moose? <laughs> ah yes. Pressure points will help alleviate stress around me. Uh, you want to try migraine? Yawn! Nothing can be more comfortable than my bed in the cabin on the big ship. Confusion say, girl who thinks she too good for bed of nails. Not too good for bed of nails. Did you just insult me? I humbly submit. Yes. <laughs> I should get back on that boat. At least there I know where I stand. We're in trouble. No need to panic. They're just... <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> well, at least you don't have a big family. Do you? Hello. I'm a rose. It rhymes with 
morose. Glad you could make it. Nice dress. The pattern was called the abyss on a dark night in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I must have missed that pattern in the catalog. Reunions in the backyard. Why? Why? Mm, more space, I guess. How big a family? Mm, big. Myopic, Malice, and Misbegotten. They're triplets. Mopey, the optimistic one. Hi, love your hair. Back at ya. <gasps> Malays and Malady. They can't be together or they'll start an ice age. I'll take Malays. I've got Malady. Hi, Cousin Misery. Go, boy. Actually, I think I'm your cousin, Murky. Come on. I just stubbed my toe two minutes ago. Okay. Come on in. Backyard? I mean... Backyard. Doors open! And I was worried nobody'd show. Is it time to panic now? Try to keep them busy. I'll call in reinforcements. Now, you haven't met them yet, but you should know there's a little friction in the family. Did she say friction? Uh, what kind of friction exactly? Will it hurt? So let's make the party so great they'll forget. Okay? Who's with me? I am. I love a good party. Oh, I'll do the games. Ha! I love a good game. Great. Frank and Len, why don't you guys gather the family memorabilia? Sure. Doom can help with the decorations, and I'll do the food. And Scaredy? I shall take notes of the proceedings from the comfort of the indestructible underground shelter. That was destroyed last week. Earthquake. Misery skipping rope. Oh, fine. I will be in charge of the first aid kits, fire extinguishers, stretchers, and seismic scale indicators. That's the spirit. Mark my words, guys. This reunion will be a smash success. <gasps> uh oh. oh. Ouch. Ow. Did you have to use the word smash? Hey. I'd like to welcome everybody to Misery's family reunion. Just think. You're all related. Yay. <laughs> children. Cheerful, playful children. Why? Why? Oh. <clears throat> Let the fun and games begin! Oops. gone off without a hitch. <laughs> Relatively speaking. Thanks. <sighs> Good thing the reunion happens only once a millennium. After they leave, which should be very soon. Misery! Misery! Misery. Misery. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, thank you all for coming. I hope you've had as much fun as I've had. So, have a safe journey back, and I'll see you at the next reunion. On behalf of all, me thank you. And thanks for making reunion. Tosh. Ouch. Misery, this has been so much fun that we got together and decided to stay on forever. Ah! 
from now on every day shall be a misery family reunion. Oh, great. Oh no! Family visits are always fun. Family visits are always fun. Family visits... Don't panic, Misery. They'll be gone before we know it. Don't panic. We only ever have short family reunions because we run out of medical supplies. But forever? Uh, Scaredy? Forgive me, but I shall only be gone for a couple of years, depending. Bye-bye. Scaredy, don't go. We'll get this all sorted out. Why does that sound so familiar? Look, the house is still in one piece. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Okay, they've got to go. But in the meantime, we just have to try to keep it all under control. We're in this together, right? Oh, right. Okay, I shall put my bags away. What? Packed. <laughs> ah! Mayhem! Scaredy seen dinosaurs! Here one day, gone next. Me not know why. Scaredy knows. Uh, I have an inkling. <gasps> oh, I mean, no. Scaredy not know. Not know at all. <laughs> My tea is getting cold. Excuse me. That what dinosaurs do before go missing. Run away from me. All is despair. Games, rock, and scissors don't matter without the paper. I'd like to introduce you to my neighbor. But rock and scissors don't matter without the paper. Morose rocks! I could get used to her hanging around. Go, Go Morose! I think I might have spoken too soon. Cool. Another verse? Oh, hi, Melody and Malaise. Now, there's something about you two being together. Uh, let's see. Um... Thank you. Here, Bertie. <laughs> Never a dull moment when the Misery family comes to call, huh? Uh, mint? You're right. Nothing lasts forever. Is everybody having a good time? <laughs> I was afraid of that. <laughs> For you. Oh, you shouldn't have. It from Great Fire of London. Cousin Motley, bring it. Gee. Thanks, everybody. Um, it's been great having you. And I'd love to have you stay forever, but, um... Oh, I know what's coming. No, listen, it's nothing personal. It's coming! It's coming! We go now. Yes. Last time we extended the reunion was at Vesuvius. <coughs> Did not work out so well. You're leaving? Don't take it personally, Misery. Yes. Confusion say, guests will overstay welcome, cause too much bodily harm, and get lawsuits. Sayonara. Ta-ta. Well. B-Y-O-L, bring on lifeboat. Ha-ha-ha. What? I can't hear you. Me see you soon. Ah. <sighs> that went well. Can we 
invited to host my cousin's wedding next week. Joke. Ah! Oh! Oh, no! Oops. <laughs> no joke. Mayhem migraine mopey? Sounds like you had a good night's sleep. Since your family couldn't make it, I thought we'd have our own reunion party. But the reunion was a huge success. There was the sack race, and the tug of war, and whack the Trojan horse piñata. Muddle, morose, mayhem, migraine, and mildew showed up. Migraine and mildew didn't get along at first, but then they became the best of friends. Don't you remember? Misery, you have such a great imagination. Really? Why don't you have a seat? You mean it was all just in my head? I should visit there more often. Skeddy's family tree with Skeddy Bot! Dear. Well, forgive me, but I am over the planets with excitement. It is the first time I am seeing the slideshow of my family tree. This is the tree, you know. This is my Aunt Fearless, the fruit bat. She is peachy, you can see. And this is my Uncle Plucky, the Mexican long nose bat. Ole! <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> This is my second cousin, Gutsy, the big brown bat. She likes candlelit dinners and long flights on the beach. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. You know, this is my third cousin, once removed, Nervy, the vampire bat. He likes the color red. Hmm. <laughs> oh! Mm. Oh! Ah! Hey, Gus. Good to meet you. <laughs> Thank goodness. Phew. <laughs> Good night. Scaredy's magic hammock ride. Ooh. Ah, time for a nice relaxing lounge on my new hammock. Mm. I love mosquitoes. <laughs> what? What's this? Ah! Oh my! Ooh. Darn. Ah! Please let this be over. Ow. Hello. Oh. Ah! That hammock is most dangerous. I can't wait to pick Doom up from her kitty spa. Are we leaving yet? Are we leaving yet? Are we, are we, are we leaving yet? Right, train isn't here yet. <laughs> Silly me. Don't worry, I wouldn't be one of those obnoxious kids asking the same thing over and over and over and over. That's not me. Oh, is that the train I hear? Is it, is it, is it the train? This sure will be a good chance to see the world and spend some quality time together. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> what was that? Um, nothing? It wasn't a sneeze, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Are you okay, Misery? Of course. I wouldn't be here if I was sick or anything. <laughs> Look, if I happened to have large pox, we would know it. Sure, it would start with the sneezing and coughing and <gasps> wheezing. But the symptoms would grow into chills, fever, and then huge red splotches on my face. If you need to stay home, Misery, I'll gladly stay back and take care of you. Thanks. Anyway, I'm fine. No, Don. 
I mean, good then. I, I won't stay home. I'll come. Don't you want to come, Poe? Well, of course I want to. Ha ha ha! Don't be absurd. And just so you know, I am not afraid of trains. <laughs> Well, you really should get that dry cleaned. <laughs> okay, is everyone here? Iris? Are we leaving? Are we leaving? Misery? <laughs> Poe? <laughs> me? Mr. Buns? Skullboy? Where's... Here we are, ready to catch the cool Waka Waka bird in its natural habitat. We want to get a picture of it for our latest album cover. Yeah, I thought it would be cool to have a picture of a rare bird. Killer! Yeah. Okay, so that just leaves Scaredy. Where is Scaredy? Scaredy! Scaredy! Yes? There you are. What's all that? Are you kidding? It's my luggage. It is best to be prepared, you know. True. But I just read all about packing light, even for long journeys. All I need is right here in this cute little compact bag. It's much easier to handle. Ah! Whoa. Most of the time. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All aboard! This is going to be the best adventure ever. Come on, guys. Excuse me, please. Hello. Oh, gotcha. Is that it? Looks like that's it. <laughs> waka waka, here we come! I'm supposed to be here. No, oh, I'm supposed to be over there. Ah! Ah! Phew. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Uh, no problem. I'll move. Me too. Wait, I am sorry, but I think I am supposed to be there. <sighs> Um, um... Sorry. I have to sneeze. <laughs> hey, wait a second. This isn't right. No. Oh. I'm supposed to get the window. You said I could first. <laughs> I'm manning the camera. How am I gonna get a good shot of us with the Waka Waka bird if I'm not closer? Okay, you're right. <laughs> Much better. You okay, Poe? I'm just trying to calm my nerves. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I must admit, I have a fear of... Oh, boy, I can hardly say the word. Um, trains. Oh, no, why? Well, it all dates back to a trauma that is too hard to talk about. Oh, okay then. Very, very hard to talk about. Well, you better not then. I don't want you to be upset. Well, thank you, Ruby. You're too kind. Now I better do my head count to make sure everyone's here. Poe, Frank, Len, me. That's four. Oh, wait a second. I've lost count. Oh, I wish I'd pack my pen to mark it down. Ballpoint, fountain, or felt tip. I also have pencils, monogram pencil crayons, or... Perhaps it would just be easier to type it. Uh, a ballpoint will do. Thanks, Scaredy. Let's see. Scaredy, Iris. Iris? Oh no, where's Iris? <laughs> that girl sure knows how to relax. Tickets, please! Tickets! Hey, Skullboy. What you doing? Isn't it great, Ruby? I mean, isn't it great, Ruby? 
I must be related to a long line of train conductors. Because when I was going to the dining car just now, I really found my train legs. Something quick! Ah! Yep, I'm a railroader, all right. Wow, that's impressive, Skullboy. <laughs> Thanks, Ruby. But I still need to see tickets, please! Tickets! Excuse me! But none of you are in the seat assigned to you! You're not gonna make us move, are ya? No, no, don't be silly. Unless you want to avoid being thrown off the train. Mm -hmm. Uh, company rules. Better. Thank you kindly! Uh, where were we? Right. One more head count and hello, relaxation. Darn. Maybe a pencil is a better idea. Scaredy? Uh, where could he be? Scaredy! <laughs> oh, there you are, Scaredy. Hey, this place looks familiar. Oh, yes. I brought along a few mementos to make it feel a bit more like home. That makes sense. Strangely enough. I'm enjoying packing light for a change. Less things to carry around. That makes sense, too. Uh, do you happen to have... I brought an extra one. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> do you see the Waka Waka bird? Not yet. Cool rickshaw, though. Nice house. Yeah. Cool boulder. Nice rickshaw. Cool house. Nice boulder. Rickshaw. House. Boulder. Hey, wait a second. Does something about this seem strange to you? Nope. Me neither. Doesn't this thing go any faster? I mean, a bird could fly faster than this thing. Oh! <sighs> Oh, no! Spawn! What's that, Misery? I said, look at all the neat spots outside. Another tea? Oh. Yeah, yes. It helps to calm my frazzled nerves. You wouldn't want to know the horrid things that could happen on this train. But since you insist... I read a few ghastly horror books about trains in my formative years, you know. They left me with nightmares for years. Don't do it. Don't go up the hill. You'll fall down. Oh, do not do it. <clears throat> yes, well, those pop-up books can be frightening. <laughs> <sighs> this is the life. I'd love to do a bit of reading. Hmm. If only I'd packed a book. <coughs> oh, thanks. Now let's see. Ah! Get it away! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should just play some games. <laughs> Did you say games? Yeah. Cool! Okay, it's called Name Five Things. You pick a category and then get the person to name five things in it. I'll go first, seeing as I might not be in this world much longer. Okay, Misery, your category is Name Five Reasons to Go on Vacation. Huh, easy. Infestation, typhoid relapse, house swept up in hurricane, meteor shower, uh, oh. And of course... Ow. My turn! My turn! My... Turn. Uh, uh, I gotta go. Hey, look. Rick.
Rickshaw house. Engineer, Rickshaw house. Where'd the engineer go? Wait a second. If he's out there, who's driving the train? <laughs> would happen. I should have listened to the pop-up book. Pardon me. Wow! <gasps> Hello, everyone. Scaredy, we have to get to the engine room so we can try to stop the train. Oh, okay then. Conductor, not an engineer. But maybe you got it wrong. Maybe you're related to a long line of train engineers. Hmm, really? Do you think I could be that far off? Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's possible I may have misread my ancestry the odd time. Okay, Mission Control, let's get this train back on track. How do I stop this thing? What? Oh, I said, how do I stop this thing? You want to sing? This isn't the time right now, Skullboy. Although, you do have a lovely voice. No, I said... I have a lovely voice? <laughs> Thanks, Ruby. No, I said, how do you stop... Skelly T, do you mind? Sorry, SB. Come on, Skull Boy. Can't you do anything? Oh, I knew something bad would happen on a train. That pop up book was right. <laughs> but I've never driven a train before. Usually, when I try to fix things, I like to read the manual. Okay, let's find the manual, people. Look alive. Oh, yes. How to fix a runaway train. I pack one along just in case. This is in German. Oh. Wrong language. English. Thanks. Okay, page one. Glossary of terms. Oh, hurry, hurry! Skip through that! Oh, right. Okay, page two. Go. How to load the charcoal. Oh, cool! I forgot this was a steam train. There's a charcoal room. Guys, the charcoal's not meant for that. Sorry. Hot dogs, then? Three, four... Oh, no! Iris is missing! Now this is what I call fast! Faster! 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 <laughs> Iris, you've got to come back in. We can't get the train to stop. Okay, okay, one more minute. You've got to do something, Skullboy. Ah, um, guys. You just gotta. That should do it. <laughs> Whoops. Guess that wasn't the right lever. This is exactly the way trains usually crash. That, or they just blow up from overheating. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, just oh. Oh, is right. Is that what I look like? <gasps> I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. Um... Let me out of here. You gotta let me out of here! It's a moving train, Poe! You can't go anywhere! Ow! <laughs> Quick, everyone! Run to the other side! Which side? The other side! The other side of where I am or where Frank is? Over there! On the count of three! One. Now, are you sure three is a good number? Maybe we should pick a smaller number so we can get this bit over with quicker. Like one. Okay, on one. Ready? One! Yeah. 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 Way to go, guys. Oh, thank you. 
It is so exhausting not being afraid. Scaredy's right. Why don't you guys go back and relax? I just have to figure out how to stop it. Then that shouldn't be so hard. I'm on the last chapter. How to stop it. Are you sure? You go ahead. I'll be fine. That's great, because the Waka Waka bird only comes out at night. Thanks for bringing the card, Scaredy. Okay, read them and weep. <laughs> that bad a hand, huh? Yeah, but that wasn't me. <laughs> well, whoever it is, she sure needs help. Come on, guys. Oh, I am on my last wings. <laughs> I heard it too. I don't know what to do. What's that on the track? Looks like a bush. It is a bush. It's Venus. I thought Venus was more of a flowering plant. No, actually, I think she's a seedling. I think she's more of a... Oh, what does it matter? What matters is, how are we going to stop in time? Help! I need to help! She's as good as mulch. Or do you mean peat moss? Never mind. Help! Anyone? Help! When I signed up to be a damsel in distress, I did not know it would take so long. Oh no! What am I going to do? Oh no, no! What are we going to do? You know, it's a good thing Bo isn't here or he would be hyperventilating from fear. <laughs> oh, the poor scared guy. Poe? Where's Poe? Oh, no. He's not here. Where is he? Po. Where are you? Where are po. you? Well, let's not panic. Oh, I am sorry, Ruby, but I have passed the expiry date for not panicking. Wait oh, a second. Dear, oh, dear. Oh. Where's that mystery man who was always around? Yeah, did he kidnap Poe? Who'd want to kidnap Poe? Len, it could be part of a huge involved plot. Maybe Poe was mistaken for a... Waka Waka bird! Of course! We've got to find him! Yeah, and Poe! You know, the mystery man was always around, but he isn't now. Just like Poe! Ah! And don't forget the engineer. Maybe he was pushed off the train. Oh, no. This is awful. What are we going to do? I don't think that's helping. Sorry. Just can't resist. Hmm. Okay. We have to pick up Doom. The train won't stop. The engineer is gone and Poe's missing. I would say the vacation is experiencing a bit of a setback. To be continued. Less time on Ruby Gloom. Ruby and friends are on their way to pick Doom up from the kitty spa. By train! It's a great excuse to take a vacation while they're at it. Scaredy packs light. Hey. Well, it is light to me. Ruby tries to relax. Yay! Emphasis on tries to. Then we have Poe. <laughs> afraid of trains. I am not afraid of trains. <laughs> Iris is having fun on the train. Frank and Len are looking for the elusive Waka Waka bird. Where are you? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is my bit. Sorry. Sorry. Misery is sick, but trying to hide it. I'm not. <laughs> sick. Is she gone? Okay. And Skullboy finally finds out who he thinks he is. A train conductor! A train engineer! This would all be well and good if there wasn't a strange mystery man running in and out of scenes. And the engineer wasn't knocked off the train. And if Poe didn't go missing. <gasps> Other than that, everything was going along just fine. Ah! 
Do like a do like a do like a do. Detective work can't solve. Okay, pose our pal, right? Right. And we gotta find him, right? Right. So we gotta have a chin with all the plugs on the rails. <laughs> Talk to everyone on the train. Oh, right. We gotta find out who got a slant on it and if anyone got their mitts on the bird. And what's the wire? <sighs> Basically, we have to find out anything we can to get our friend Poe back. Oh! Right! Yeah. Usually it's about this time when the dead body shows up. <gasps> <gasps> Misery! <laughs> uh, sorry. You're the one who started the whole murder mystery thing. I was just going with the flow. Oh, okay, thanks. But there's no need to jump to conclusions. You won't believe what I saw! Oh, wow! Are you all right? Um, I'm finding it a little bright in here. Oh, okay. The mystery man was going from one car to the next with a big truck the size of Poe! Ha <laughs> ha! Huh? Oh, no! Mystery man has kidnapped Poe and put him in a trunk! But why? Because it's probably easier to carry that way. No, I mean, why would anyone want to kidnap Poe? Well... I hate to say it, but crow is a delicacy in some countries. <gasps> Misery, that's not helping. I said I hated to say it. The important thing is to remain calm. I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation for this. Yeah, maybe we should just ask those scary and threatening characters lurking in our midst. Again, not helping. Sorry. We're gonna keep it like glue while we think of what a one, two, three is. Which means keep it together while we think. <laughs> yes, Scaredy, we've seen the Jack and Jills in the next car, but we can't judge a book by its cover. You gotta stay calm, be cool, be... <laughs> oh, dear, this is the end. As far as I can tell you now, I'm not really sure. If this was in color, we'd be able to see better. You never know when a little lighting might come in handy. I cannot look myself, of course. Hi, guys! What's up? Oh, Skullboy, it's you. I mean, you know, good to see you. Oh, yeah, sure. Good to see you, Ruby. Uh, guys, all of you people here, as a group. Good thing you're here, Skullboy, and not up front driving the train. <gasps> What'd I say? If you're not driving the train, who is? Not to worry, I've got it on autopilot. <laughs> the Auto Locomotatron 3000! It's the latest version, so it's fully compatible with runaway trains. That's great! Now you can help us find that bird! Yeah, thanks. The Waka Waka is hard to find. Plus, we're looking for Poe. Poe's missing? Oh, no. Okay, no problem. I'll find him. I love detective work. In fact, I think I may have been related to a long line of detectives. How'd you guess? Well, I bet you didn't know what kind of detective, huh? <laughs> I must be, uh, um... Ha! A French inspector, hein? With lots of the flair, n'est-ce pas? I'm good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Second nature for me after a crash. <laughs> It's okay. All right, guys. Time to get serious and conduct a full hard boil. Let's spider and do the up and down until the place is clean. Let's spread out. Talk to people and find out what we can. Oh! oh. There has been an incident on this train, and you are a suspicion. 
What? You have such strong accent, I cannot understand what you say. I say you are under suspicions. What am I under? Suspicions. Oh, do you have an umbrella? Mais oui, but that hardly answers the question. What question? Where were you the night of tonight? I was right here, Lynn. Can you prove it? More importantly, do you have a witness? <sighs> so, you're saying you didn't see no evil, hear no evil, or speak no evil? Oh, <laughs> backing him up, huh? <laughs> Following along like a bunch of sheep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, you are sheep. Okay, fine, I'll believe you for now. But I'm watching you. Oh, I do not like this, I do not like... Oh, is that my other trunk? Ah! Oh! Oh, Mr. White and Mr. White, of course. I must have opened the wrong door, you know, because, well, I certainly did not pack you two, huh? <laughs> Little joke there, you know. Would love to chat, but oh, I have to run. Wow. And you've been eating this for how long? <laughs> I see. Well, it is apparent that eating this much sausage would take more than 43 minutes, which is the last time Poe was last seen. Maybe he's hiding in here. Oh, malaise. Malady. Good to see... <laughs> okay, I'll get back to you. And since an ice storm happens, whatever Malady and Malaise are together, they couldn't have done anything other than the usual wind, snow, and avalanche damage. Okay, thanks, Misery. That sums up all our evidence. So, what do you think, Ruby? Well, let's see. Looks like no one on the train is guilty, and no one has seen anything resembling a missing bird. I'm not surprised. The Waka Waka bird is a very rare bird to find. <sighs> You're not getting it, Lynn. Oh, this is hopeless, you know. Poe is our friend. And we're never going to find him. Oh, no. Where did he go? What will we do? I don't know. Oh, if only I wasn't fearless anymore, I would pace and flutter around panicked. I miss Poe. Come on, guys. He's not gone for good. We gotta keep our spirits up. If only we could find Mystery Man, we would probably find Zippo. <gasps> He's got Zippo. I mean Po. Oh no, we have to get him back. <gasps> Stop. Ruby! Ruby! Everybody stay calm. something that can extend it a long length, hook onto the hand car, and pull her back in. Well, I'll see what I can do. Hang in there, Ruby! Oh! Okay, Ruby! Measuring tape, Scaredy. You never know when one might come in handy. Good idea, Scaredy! Roll it out to me! Okay! That thing can snap back and cause distal sesamoid bone fractures on your medial digital flexors. So I've heard. Yay! She made it! Hi, guys. <gasps> I'll be right back.
Uh-oh. Good kitty. Ruby! Iris? Ta-da! <laughs> You're the best! <laughs> what are friends? Whoa! Iris, oh no! Iris! Keep going, Ruby. You've got to get the mystery man so we can find Poe. But... Look, Ruby, if anyone can tame a lion, I can. Are you sure? Positive. Hey, stop with the drooling. Yuck. Stop. You can't hijack this train. It's not like I didn't warn you. Oh, hi, Misery. Have you seen Mystery Man? He's a goner. Really? Yeah. Not only did he get knocked out the window, but he has a pretty good chance of getting large pox. Not everyone can handle the symptoms. <laughs> hey! Wait! No! Not to fear, Ruby! I'm here! Maybe I'm not a conductor, or an engineer, or even a French inspector. What are you? Oh, thanks, Gertie. Anytime. I'm an adventurer. That mystery man is going nowhere. Fast. Good thing I put a motor on this thing. Okay, Mystery Man, it's just you and me, mano a mano. Uh, just you, my friend, uh, and moi, one on one. Skullboy? Skullboy, are you okay? Of course I am. I'm simply trapping the enemy while I intimidate him with my smart quips. Couldn't get out of the trolley, huh? Nope. Please, sir, we just want to know if you have our friend. We love him and miss him and, well, we just couldn't go... Guys, do you mind? Thanks. We couldn't go on without our friend. Please give him back to us. You never know when you need extra security? We demand an answer. Who are you? What are you doing with Poe? Technically, that's two answers. But we still demand them. Please. We'll give you anything you want. Oh, and I have so many things. Do you need a resistor radio? Some candy floss? Oh, a birch bark canoe? Just please give us Poe back. <gasps> I think we better run! No offense. <laughs> thing again. Oh, we are all goners. It's all over! <laughs> Marshmallow? <laughs> Not that again. We are definitely goners this time. There are no more tunnels. Or marshmallows. I just want everyone to know that no matter what, you guys are the best friends ever. Ah! <laughs> oh, dear! Ah! I have been shot! I think? Yes, you have been shot. Oh, I knew it! With my camera. What? My card. You're a reporter with the Gloomsville Gazette? Congratulations! You have all just won the True Meaning of Friendship Award. I'm the judge. Yes! I always wanted to win the... the... True Friendly... Whatever Award! Woohoo! Ouch! Ah! Uh, I'm good! This is your award! Whoa! It's the Waka Waka Bird! I never thought I'd see it in front of my very eyes! It represents everything nice about friendship. But why did you go to all that trouble to, uh, scare us? <laughs> 
I was just trying to observe. It's top secret until the presentation, so I couldn't say anything. Oh! Good point. Hmm. Indeed. I don't get it. <laughs> I got some super duper material to show how you guys have won the True Meaning of Friendship Award. Oh! Good one. <laughs> you see? You kids would do anything for a friend. Wait a sec. Do you have any shots that go a little further back? Sure thing. Hold it. Either there's gum on my shoe or I know where Poe is. That happens to me all the time. You just need a scraper. What's the one thing every picture has in common? Poe is behind the eight ball, so tipped a few cups and saucers. He was nervous, so he drank a lot of tea. Oh. So, the chamomile did it? <sighs> Point is, I know exactly where Poe is. Skullboy, could you do the honors? <laughs> but of course, mademoiselle. Poe, Poe. How are we gonna get through the locked door? Actually, I am all out. Wait, I have a skeleton key. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I I'm not joking, I actually do. Ho? 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 Wake up, Ho! You what? what? Why is everyone here? Staring at me, in the loo. What are you doing here, Po? Well, that's a personal question, isn't it? But you've been in here for hours. Oh, right. Did you have the vegetarian chili? Because that can kind of burn, muchacho. What? Well, if you must know, I accidentally locked myself in here and fell asleep while waiting for help. The tea was herbal, so it had a rather sleepy effect. So the chamomile did do it. Oh, Poe. I'm so glad you're okay. Me too. Me too, you old crow. Yes, yes, that's all very nice. But do you mind? I did drink a lot of tea, you know. Yep. Tipped a few cups and saucers. Out! What a crazy mix-up. Yeah, hilarious. Huh? If he's here, who's driving the train? <gasps> we'd see you again. We meant to get here a lot sooner, but, well, we just got a little sidetracked. I'm so sorry. Doom! Oh, who's a good kitty? Who's a good girl? Who is? Yeah, yeah, that's you! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! You are so Doom! Well, it's time to go home. Home? But we just got here. I know, but we better get moving or we'll miss the last train to Gloomsville. On second thought, it's nice outside. Let's walk. You sure look great, Doom. That week at the spa did wonders for your fur. Really? A massage? And did you get a manicure, too? Being sheepish. Sheep. Bet they wish they could have as much fun as we do. Bah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>